Today's episode of The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by Jeanette McKenzie, Realtor at Forest Hill Signature, Jewelry Forever at JewelryForever.ca, and Beautified by Romina. Enjoy the show. Broadcasting live from Glenmore Record Studios in Toronto, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown, your Sunday morning talk show with interesting guests, live musical performances, and the most fun you can fit in your coffee cup. Hosted by Scott Dion Brown and Regina Elena, this is The Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown. What a beautiful <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode two... Sixteen. Two sixteen. <laughs> it's good we have the sign. Mm-hmm. Just glance over there. Episode two sixteen of the sit down with Scott Dion Brown. It's a, it's cold, but it's sunny. It's cold and sunny on a beautiful Sunday. <laughs> on a nice Sunday. A nice Sunday. Yeah, you know, I just saw a thing on, I mean, there's so many of them, but a video on an Instagram where it's like every Canadian, as soon as it's like two degrees and sunny. They're in shorts. Yeah, but it, that's actually true. Like, and I, I, I was walking around, and I'm like, oh, it's shorts? actually nice. None of my shorts, but, <laughs> but I, I just, as soon as the sun was on me, it was cold, but I was like, this is nice. I could mm. be out here all day. Mm. Anyway, it's one of those days. Yeah. It's one of those days, everybody. Hi, welcome to the show. I am your host, the one, the only, Scott Dion Brown. And I'm joined by the greatest co-host in all the galaxy. The one, the only. Regina Lena. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy St. Patty's Day weekend. Happy St. Patty's Day weekend, everybody. We forgot the green, but Grogu yeah. is here, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, he's always, yeah. In fact, he's, he's always green. But he's more green today, Regine. <laughs> yes. Uh, how was your week? It was <clears throat> busy. Oh, my goodness. It was busy at work, but it was great overall. I went to a Little Canada yesterday. Oh, yeah. Was that good? I've been meaning to go to that. It's cute. I mean, so I went to the Canadian event, special events yeah exhibit last year like a conference last year and they were there kind of like selling corporate like promoting it type of thing going to little canada because you can create yourself as a little person like a little and they'll put you in there a little character yes and they'll put you there Mm -hmm. can you decide where you be you have to pay for it i I did not pay for it like if i was like i want to stand on top of the cn (laughs) tower will they do that no but they'll put you in toronto and then I have to find myself. Yeah, or you can just bring it home and just have this little character of you. Little Scott. <laughs> I'd rather be there. Okay. So but it was fun. It's worth The area going. that you live in is there, so you probably are there. <laughs> Maybe I'm there now. Maybe. <laughs> if they want to be accurate, I should be there. Um, uh, is it worth going? You, you say you recommend it? Um, I would recommend waiting. So right now there's uh, Little Ontario and Little Quebec that are done. So Toronto is completely done, but right now they're working on little north so like the territories and then little east oh okay Mm -hmm. so i'll wait until uh the 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 whole country is there yeah i mean i want to go i want to go back i will go back once east and then west are done okay yeah maybe we can it's cute are you allowed to film in there i did TikTok coming soon. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, we should bring in our guest, Regine. Yes, because I did mention Little East. <laughs> he, he's not little, but he's from the East. <laughs> okay. All right. yeah. Okay, hang on. I have a bio. I have a bio Ooh, for him. We have not heard a bio in a long time. Yeah, but you know why? I mean... Because people don't send bios. Yeah, but he sent one. And I was <gasps> like, oh. Yeah. I mean, in their defense, we don't usually... We don't normally I think I them. used to ask. I used to say, hey, send me a bio. And then I kind of stopped mm-hmm. but you sent one i hope i'm so sorry you have to read this no <laughs> no i, I, I figure i'm not gonna read all of it but I'll, I'll read a good introduction okay that's great you already heard the mystery person's voice oh yeah that was yeah that was a voice <laughs> or something our, our, our guest today everybody first of all this is his second appearance on the show mm-hmm. first in studio though yes, yes it's way sir. better in studio way better in studio um he's an actor mm-hmm. a singer mm-hmm. composer mm-hmm. and a lucky guy According Ooh. to his, uh, his thing. That's true. It is um, St. Patty's Day. Or go. weekend. Oh, yeah. He is best known for his roles as Ben Bertolucci in Sony Pictures' new movie, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. Rac- is it Toronto? 
Raccoon yeah. City. Could have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's based on. Mm -hmm. um, as Assassin Alexei in the Netflix original movie Polar. Awesome movie. Watched it. He was awesome in it. Uh, alongside Mads Mikkelsen, uh, Vanessa Hudgens, and Johnny Knoxville. And as Ian in Shudder's new horror classic, Anything for Jackson. And he was nominated for the Actor Award for Best Actor in a Feature Film for Warner Brothers' American Civil War epic, epic Copperhead. Yeah, He's, oh, also, yeah, he's also a uh, film uh, music composer. Mm -hmm. He's done uh, work on several projects. Uh, most recently, the uh, Asian action thriller Cyber Heist. Starring Hong Kong megastar Aaron Kwok. And he's also a fantastic um, award nominated uh, acting teacher. teacher. Yeah. That's very kind. Wow. So, uh, again, second time on the show. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please give a warm sit down welcome to Josh Crudus. Is <laughs> that right? Crudus, right? Crudus, Crudus. Honestly, I say anyway. How do you say it? I. I've been told when I was a child it was Crudus, but I Crudus. honestly, I, I don't know. I, it might be Crudus. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a long time since anyone's written that name down, and so I think everyone kind of has their own spin on it. And I, I say my, my, my family has always been like, it's Crudus, but I'm also like, crud? Like, really? But then they're like, no, that's what it is. So I'm like, try to say it. So I'm like, it should be Crudus, because it's a little less offensive. I feel like. But I mean, but back in the day when your last name was actually originated. That's right. I think it was from S Scotland. From like it was like Crudus or something like that. <laughs> a, lot, a little more gnarly. <laughs> Love it. So we'll say it that way. Yeah. With accent. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Um, well, hello. Hello. That's so. Thank you for reading me <laughs> my thank bio. You. Thank you for sending it. I my 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 publicist helped make that. Years ago, and I think it's a it's a unique form of um, of self control to sit there while you're being read your bio too, because it's just like mm -hmm. you have to be like, yeah, this is for someone like me who's again from the East Coast, mm -hmm. and if you talk about yourself too much on the East Coast, a fish comes out of the water and slaps you across the face. <laughs> is that what they say? They well, that's what they do. The fish come out of the water. <laughs> they <laughs> keep just, the people humble. They, they do. They really try to, the, <laughs> try to keep us here. humble. So thank you for those kind of words. I do appreciate it. And yeah, there were except for the the nice things you said. Everything else is really true. It's all it's all true. First off, this man has a publicist. <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Must sometimes, <laughs> not all the time, because that's expensive. But it's uh, it's one of those things you got to do. I wish I had someone write my bio. It's, it is so awkward, it's like you said, better. writing about yourself. Yeah, like I have to submit bios for pageants and stuff, but I'm like, I can't. It's weird talking yeah. first know, and third it. person, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. it's like an interview. Why well, you have to sell yourself? You're yep. writing it on a piece of paper. That reminds me of uh. In high school, I made like a little a website for my at the time like was my film production company. I had the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> but like it's so funny because I used to write in like you write in third person, right? Yeah, and yeah. and not only that, like it's like I, I it's still online, so I stumbled upon it, and it says like <gasps> it says like <laughs> it says like um uh, it has his new his latest film will be coming out soon. And then it'll say quotes. It'll be like, I'm really excited to be working on this project, <laughs> says Scott. <laughs> Amazing. And uh you know, because no, everybody thought, wow, he's being interviewed? Yeah. This is big coverage. Yeah. 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 Hollywood Reporter. It's yeah. like it's just him interviewing himself. <laughs> yeah. It's the best. Breaking it's the best. news. It was, uh, it's a great website. It's a good website. I'm going to find it. I, too, had a film production company when I was a kid. My friends and I would make films, and I think it was... It's called uh, Star Films. It just had a star on it, like a picture of a star. <laughs> and it was like, that's the... That's the company, and it folded a long time ago. But Aww. it was nice while it lasted. Yeah. Well, I mean, did it? Did it I mean, it, technically, maybe you're, you're just shut down for now. But you, you guys could be <laughs> on hiatus. Back, yeah, exactly. Right. Back the in business, get minute. back to good. Yeah, that's. Fine. It's so nice to be here with you too. I've I've been looking around at this amazing studio, and it's just fantastic. To We're be not back, seeing so. each other through a screen this time. I know it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> it's really, really lovely. It's really it's, lovely. It's so much better being in like. I mean, that's the thing. We it was great. I mean, through the pandemic, doing the show online, like it, obviously it allows us to keep doing the show. Yeah. And the one thing that was kind of cool too is like we were able to interview people. Like it, it was through the pandemic that we actually interviewed people outside of the country or outside of the area, right? Just because, yeah. oh well, you know, we can interview anybody. Yeah. But th this, you know, this. Yeah. 
It's the vibe. There's something it special is. about it. It's the sit down. You gotta be sitting down yeah. in a ideally in the same room. Exactly. With yeah. Grogu. Exactly. Yeah. My best friend. Actually, because of Scott having talking about Grogu the whole time, yeah. I got a giant Grogu at home because <gasps> of the sit down. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's one of those like squishmallows, but they're oh, like yeah. massive from Costco. Yeah. This Grogu is very betrayed by that, but I think he'll get over it. He'll be okay. He'll That's not the dog. Him. So that means the Grogu you have is bigger <laughs> than the toy. real go Grogu. Yes, this is the dog toy. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's why he has like crunchy ears. Mm. Yeah. If we do that near the dog, <laughs> as soon as you start doing that, he looks he, like he's, uh, yeah, he, he's like, what's that? Luckily, the dog is outside. <laughs> he doesn't hear Bring it. him in. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's, uh, well, let's, let's start. Chat. Let's chat. Well, we've been chatting already. Let's keep no, chatting. Great chat. But um, let's start with, uh, I, 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 I I think the first thing I'll ask you about because it's the new thing that's coming soon and we want to make sure we get to it. Uh, Cyber Heist. Yes. Tell us about Cyber Heist. Cyber Heist. Well, the title tells you a lot of what you need to know. It's a, a very fun um, kind of action thriller film about um, money laundering, which is, you know, the oh. my favorite thing to do personally in my oh, off okay. time. I Every, love you know, money laundering. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. And so really, really close to home for me. But no, it's a great uh, film uh, set and made in Hong Kong, uh, starring someone who's very um, well known in Hong Kong, Aaron Kwok, who's a huge uh, star, singer, actor over there. And uh, yeah, it's this kind of fun film that I was very lucky to do, uh, to write the music for, and uh, very kind of. I don't know if uh, any film score fans out there, but um, kind of a Ludwig Göransson style um, Ooh, film with yeah. some electronic elements mixed with orchestral, which is my favorite type of music. And so I got to, mm -hmm. yeah, work in that realm and, and work with some great people. And, and we're putting the the soundtrack album out uh, on Friday, the twenty fourth. So that's yeah, we're excited about about that. And uh, yeah, it was it was a weird kind of pandemic project again. Like, of course, I never got to go to Hong Kong, unfortunately, to mm -hmm. meet anybody. But lots of like, you know, Zoom, FaceTime uh, meetings with, uh, with with Soi Chang, who's the producer and uh, a big legend over there, too. And so, yeah, it was it was a very, a very grateful to work on that. And uh, it's fun. Hopefully people enjoy it. That's Yay. amazing. Yeah, that is a cool thing. Well, one of the amazing cool things is like, the fact that you you were able to people can collaborate on projects all like yeah. literally on the other side of the world yeah it's That's, nuts it's yeah. like and i feel like i don't know about you folks but the pandemic kind of forced us to like i would be i play video games with my uh, i play um, super smash bros with <laughs> my uh, buddies and we have like a group chat and that never would have started mm -hmm. if it weren't for you know this horrible thing that happened so finding these little slivers of, of happiness amongst the the yeah. kind of the terrible thing that happened we we now get to continue this group chat we play you know all the time still because we're different that. provinces and it's just you know mm -hmm. that stuff some really good stuff came out of uh, us being at home for a mm -hmm. long time it it definitely forced like yeah a lot of i guess yeah technological like innovation is the right word but for the average person yeah. it was just yeah, like the idea of being able to just contact you or have video calls and stuff. Like it was a, th it was always a thing we could do. Yeah, we but it wasn't the thing. Didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. But now it forced everybody to like, kind of become a little bit of a sound engineer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone got a lot more tech savvy, I think, yeah. <laughs> including myself. Hmm. It's uh, yeah, and it's you know it's horrible to. Obviously, I've come from a very privileged perspective on the on the pandemic, but it's still very. Uh, it's interesting to see what kind of humans you know we find ways mm -hmm. to do things when we're yeah you got to got to adapt yeah well I would, I would say even like j this show yeah yeah improved just from a tech side of things yeah you know because yeah we were we were doing it on our on our own already but just like spending so much more time with streaming software and just microphones and setting stuff up and like it just forced me to uh, there are a bunch of improvements that now the show even just on the back end of i don't know if the audience even notices but i can think <laughs> just right. stuff that's better so you know you yeah. make the best of a of a bad situation it's true though like if people come to my place and they see all the lights and all of my stands are like what is happening here yeah. it's like oh yeah it's a full business yeah. it's a full 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 budget production I actually yeah. put away a lot of my lights though because now that we're here i only do the pageant sit down from home yeah I guess and that's sense. a whole other yeah a whole other channel. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Cyber Heist is it? Uh, I know we got it. We got some nice the smooth. Now, yeah. <laughs> some new music team. We keep we keep it. It keeps the vibe rolling. <laughs> I love it. You know it. Is. Um, is Cyber Heist? Can people? Is it available for viewing now? Is it out or not yet? That's a darn good question. So it is out in uh, across Asia, and actually, when it, the opening weekend in, in China was the um, 
biggest movie that weekend, which is great. But uh, yeah, wow. it's, it's all over the place in, in Asia. I haven't been able to find it myself in Canada yet. I was just actually mm. talking to the one of the producers this morning, being like, uh, she was like, have you seen it yet? I was like, no, I want to really badly. So I don't know when, uh, but I'm sure it will make its way to this side of the world very soon. Or you soon. just have to Sweet. fly across the Exactly. Country. Just take a quick <laughs> $10,000 trip to uh, no big deal. Hong Kong. and Yeah, man, I'd love to. But uh, yeah, soon, hopefully. And the soundtrack will be available everywhere, so we'll be able to hear that. Sweet. No matter what. That's you know, cool. Cool. I really feel like we're getting to the point now where, the, where we need to put an end to these regional restrictions for viewing stuff. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. I, know, I know that the big thing in the way of it, right, is advertising right like oh yeah. i want it. but thing is like youtube and stuff they've kind of solved that where i can put something on and even if it's a video from it doesn't matter where in the world yeah. it was uploaded yeah. i will see ads to me yeah right mm-hmm. so there's no reason why every single platform can't function that way it's so true as i break <laughs> your studio it's so true i found uh <laughs> found with uh i don't know if you guys watch soccer but there's a league um mls which is the big the mm-hmm. league the toronto FC season yep and they just uh this season have this kind of apple plus um new thing i feel like i'm advertising for them i swear they haven't not paid sponsored, me a cent not sponsored. <laughs> exactly i just love the league. but they have this thing where you can watch because used to be you couldn't watch a game sometimes if you're even in your own city you couldn't watch that game because yeah. they were like now go to the stadium and stand mm-hmm. in the cold and so now you can watch any game from anywhere and it's one of those things where like clearly the technology exists clearly yeah. it's just like copyright you know lawyer legal yeah. agreements uh, making us not <laughs> be able to do this but yep it's true it can happen Especially, yeah, I mean, because it's the ads. I mean, that's 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 all it has to be. Like, yeah. there's no reason yeah. why... It, with streaming now, you should just be able to watch anything from anywhere. Just release it to the world. Yeah. And then, you know, sort out based on where... They, you know, anyways. And, you know, hot topic, Netflix. I'm sure you guys are yeah. hearing that they... If you don't live in mm-hmm. the same place that you have your primary Netflix account from, yeah. then you're somehow banned from netflix and i've like i love netflix i've worked for them a, a couple times and they've been very very good to me but i i think they'll hopefully realize a lot of people are going to be you know mm-hmm. just some people who are like students or traveling and stuff like that it's like going to be impossible so i'm i'm yeah. curious to see what they're going to do to like kind of figure that out because obviously they don't want you know my parents paying for the entire mm-hmm. neighborhood's yeah. netflix account and we're living in different countries but i'm sure they'll figure out a way that doesn't involve stopping little old me stealing yeah. my parents netflix you know? i actually <laughs> saw on netflix this week where it was like um at another location for like 7.99 a month oh there you go okay so they're figuring it out but it's like do you really want to spend here's the thing netflix is already so expensive like i have paramount plus which is 9.99 oh, yeah, right. a okay. month right or there's like other subscription like if you have a prime account mm-hmm. you have yeah. prime mm-hmm. already so like why are you making it more expensive yeah. for people? People clearly got rid of cable for a reason. Like, That's the crazy thing that's happening. Yeah, we're like going back into mm-hmm. the cable world. Yeah. Might well, as that's well. Thing, it's going to get cheaper. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Well, because that's the problem is we're that it, it used to be, oh, wow, cable's so expensive. So now we got the streaming service. But now mm-hmm. every individual studio almost is like making their own streaming service. So if you want to see everything, you, you're you basically spending what you would yeah. have spent. Yeah. yeah. But <clears throat> Paramount Plus has stuff that Netflix has just not the Netflix special shows mm, or movies. So there's like crossover. I don't but know. Survivor is on Paramount. Survivor Plus. on Paramount. Yeah. I gotta get it. I gotta get it. Like it's like season thirty onwards. Wow. But yeah, okay, let's. We yeah. should. We should talk about Survivor because <laughs> that uh, was should. my segue no, into no, it. Should. Well, because I haven't. I this is gonna be more you two because I haven't actually watched Survivor since <gasps> I think season one. Hey, get out. To <laughs> be <Yeah>. fair, I. <laughs> Hold got on. into i got re into survivor during the pandemic okay same right yeah. but like it's also because i do watch stuff like the challenge and a lot of people on the challenge come from survivor and you're like there's this connection Interesting. Now. wait what's the cha- challenge is a different show yeah so the challenge is on mtv but oh, it sign me up that's <laughs> all i need to hear but it's um they take 
members from or cast members from like Big Brother, like other competition shows. So Big Brother, uh-huh. Survivor, are are you the one I think was on there? And they do like different challenges similar to Survivor. Yeah. But then they also have like their own twist. It, it makes stuff. sense that they're they're basically building like a star system in the reality TV world. Legitimately. It's nuts, man. It is. It's so crazy. I would never want to go on the challenge or survive. I will never survive Survivor. I would not survive, yeah. But <laughs> I would like to nominate people for Survivor. Yeah, I'd be like, my, one of my best friends in this world, his name's Chris George, and he he loves Survivor. He was the one who got me into Survivor mm. in the pandemic. And again, I was like, I would walk by like cereal boxes as a kid with a Survivor logo on it. And I was like, what's that? And would never, yeah. I never knew anything about it until the pandemic. But then my buddy Chris was like, here's this show. You should check it out. And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll watch it. It's been on for tw- 20 years. It can't be that bad. So I... 42 seasons 42. or something like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I like... I've watched the first episode and of course I'm like I'm hooked mm-hmm. I'm like I'm in the TV I'm so like yeah. into it and uh, and so he would be so good on Survivor and I'm like every season I'm just like putting it out into the universe My if I have one favor to, to send to just the universe to up. get him on Survivor because he would win and then I get he'd give me like one dollar I think he'd probably give me a dollar maybe not even though but it's he probably would give me one because there will be episodes like towards the end of the season where Jeff would be like oh casting now yeah. go. and I literally look at my husband I'm like I'm going to sign you up and he's like love that what <laughs> like, please don't I don't want to die out there but that's the thing I, I would not survive. survive I think he would, would yeah I would not. I would not. No. no. Scott, what about you? Would you survive on a desert island with bugs to eat? Like, are I you mean, an outdoorsy person? I mean, day to day, uh, no. You no. <laughs> but, but, but the thing is, but I, I like, I like camping and doing stuff. You do? That's the same thing. No, yeah. There's no difference between camping it's the and survival. same thing, yeah. but you have you, no food. Yeah, besides like no food. food. You're a vegetarian, yeah. so you like, won't no. even eat seafood. And you have to do insane things physically every single day, and then you get em- emotionally manipulated by all of your people you on your camping trip. Are you a good swimmer? Trip. Yeah. I'm a good swimmer. Okay, maybe. You okay. Might the thing is, there's, you might. I mean, there's a part of me that likes the idea of going through that. Okay. Mm. But I don't know if I would Sick actually. Part of you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and I don't know if that part of me is at, like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I could do that. But didn't but you it, want it's... to do Amazing Race? Well, uh, we were talking about you like. Considered it. Could I? Wh- which, if there was one I wanted to do, I would want to do it like something mm-hmm. like but Amazing Race. I think you survive Survivor, but Amazing Race is cool because you can actually travel. Here, you're just stuck on this desert. Oh, yeah. But here's you the other part. Anywhere. Yeah. In, fact, in fact, you know where I think I might or you fail? Go home. <laughs> <laughs> going home. Where I feel like I would have a tra- problem isn't even necessarily the outdoorsy stuff. Because I think I could do that. Like, I, like, for example, I don't have any knowledge so that, like, I don't know what plants to eat. Oh, yeah. So assu- Instant death. You're dead immediately. Yeah. So that's <laughs> what I mean. It's poisonous. So yeah. like, but assuming I could find that out, like maybe if I knew I was going to be on Survivor, you know, right. I could study, do some Googling. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, this shaped leaf. Okay. I can eat that. Mm. The part that I think I would fail at would be the, um, um, Social like, game? Yeah, like the the the, <laughs> the the part where you have to like backstab people. I, know, I think I'd be good at the social game, but everything else would be like, no. Mm. Yeah, I, I could maybe survive by like just being friends with like someone who's really good at the game, and then uh, they could use me as a human shield basically, mm-hmm. and and get the way through the game, and then dump me at the end, and I'll be like, it's okay, I'm on TV, ma. I, I mean, but if you look at like seasons, like let's say last season, for yeah. example, the winner literally just like he just he just kind of just grazed yep. through the competition so true like he got through like kind of maybe that was a strategy like people didn't really notice him type thing no they noticed him <laughs> but a lot of oh. times in a bad way at the beginning they were Gabler like was oh, like guy. very yeah. and, like and he was there. like the older guy and so yeah. so he tried his way to fit in and then i think when he realized that he is a target he really brought yeah. himself down yeah. But he won in the end. Yeah, he won, and he but, donated all of his money. But in that game, so it's pretty amazing. Mm-hmm. Don't people vote you out? How does how did you? The, and they vote for you to win. Mm. So you want to have friends in oh in the group. Yeah, and you want to be nice to people, and you need to prove to them why you should win. Wait, wait, sorry. Who votes for you to win? The people who got kicked out. The people who sometimes you oh. kick them out, mm-hmm. and they still they're like respect. the ones you backstab. Exactly. But if you can oh. justify the, your reason for why you did that, interesting. No. So it, I don't think you could do it. <laughs> so, so is this current? Is is a current season happening right now? Like yeah. it's literally right now. So yeah. who are, who are some people to watch on this season's Survivor? Carolyn. 
Oh my god, bothers me. <laughs> I love her with she a thousand, the force of a thousand suns. She is like gonna be. She's quirky. She, she's she's very a personality. Quirky. She's a very, very a personality. That's a very. She's probably very polarizing as well. Because mm. I have uh, friends of mine are like, I want that to never see that woman again. And I'm like, she yeah. is so entertaining to me. Like she's so, <laughs> she's just like, she's very unapologetically who her. she is. And uh, I don't know if it'll work for her though. I think no, it might. I don't think so. Come back to bite I like her. I like Jam Jam. Yes, he's my winner pick. <laughs> he's so. Funny. You heard it here first. I'm in a I survivor pool Jam with Jam. my friends, and I'm I'm locked in on Jam Jam. I think he's got it. I think he's Who got else? what it takes. Um, a Canadian won one no two yeah. years in a row two years in a row two two seasons in a row it's because we are we are people of of the of the bush and what i love that's is so that true. that's what i call myself <laughs> what i do love about the two of them is they are both female female people of color yes uh -huh. canadian yes and they were literally underdogs all of them why and were they, they like, underdogs because they weren't seen as top dog they were oh. underestimated yes Possibly because there were just the, tiny girls yeah. of the group, or yeah. the loud ones, or because you think Survivor, it's like no, it's gonna be the really strong guy who's gonna like lift yeah. the logs, yeah, like Jonathan. <laughs> like Jonathan yeah, he yeah. didn't win though. No. It's like, yeah, it's, it's it was amazing those two seasons in a row. I was like over the moon. Mm -hmm. So cool, so cool. And so the Gabler was not. No, he was, he was not a jungle boy at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was not a man of the bush. No. Gotta be a man. But he was a heart surgeon. He was a heart That's cool. surgeon. Or like he's something like that. Yeah. He was into He was into hearts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had Not nice breaking heart. them. Not fixing well, them. <laughs> might have broke my heart. So there are like there are two seasons a year? Is that how they do the show? I think so. Yeah. It's like they yeah. film it back to back and so they change it so that if you're on Survivor now, you won't know what yeah. the changes were in Oh yeah, I see. Cause I because I remember from the very first season, I still remember there was the guy that won. And he was so controversial because he was like, he was because because there was never a show like it before. And remember, yeah, there was this big deal right. where he was like, "I am planning to make alliances with certain people to ensure that I never get voted out." And everyone was like, "Can you believe he did oh my that? God, oh my gosh!" And I was yeah. like, "That's the name of the game." But that's why, like, I remember the following season because I remember I watched a bit of the second season, where it's like people were like, because of what he did to win the first yeah. season, mm -hmm. everyone was like, oh, "Okay," and that kind yeah. of. But he he was the pioneer. What was his name? I can't remember. Right. Uh, was it Richard? Richard Hatch? Richard, Richard Hatch. Yeah. There you I go. Think, yeah. I didn't I'm, see that season, but I'm surprised I remember that his name was Richard. You know what? Who I but also like famous. in this season? Famous. Um, I don't know his name. I call him Spider Man. Spider Man. Uh, he's the firefighter. No, 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 no. no, no. The 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 one on the the, the quirky smart one. Oh, um, the one that looks like Peter Tom Parker. Holland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Carson. Carson. Yes. Yes. He's good. Yeah, yeah. I think he might have a chance to make potential. it pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. So you're voted out by the people who in your tribe. You they they pick a your person own to vote family. out. Yeah. Oh, your own. And there's your two teams. Own. Sometimes, Sometimes there's your there's parents three. are there and they vote you. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's three tribes. Oh, yeah, because they, they always merge. change it up, right? Like they yeah. they try different things and like. Yeah. yeah they yeah. Just throw things at the wall, see what sticks. What do you think of the the bird cage? Um. So the, this season, there's this like bird cage, mysterious bird cage in the middle of the forest, jungle, whatever this is. Okay. And there's a little bag inside, and you have to find the key, and then whoever finds the key gets. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Spoilers. If you have not watched yeah, yeah, yeah. the Do recent, not. if you have not watched last week's episode, step away for a couple minutes. <laughs> Such a good point. Sorry. No. <laughs> Before we get into it. A good point. I won't. Try, I'll try not to give away and actually happenings that happen with the characters but yeah there's this um, savage this yeah this bird and there there are people who are r doing really smart clever things to like convince other people that the bird cages have not been broken okay. into yet yeah. have not been open and uh i i as a mechanic of the game i think it's great mm -hmm. it's like such a it's such a sneaky little thing that they're doing mm -hmm. and oh, interesting uh, yeah but it's interesting bringing it back to survivor and the challenge People who are on Survivor and then go to the challenge are known as manipulators right. because of how they won the game or how they did in the game. Right. Because mm -hmm. you got a reputation. That's the thing. If you've, you've done a few of these shows, yeah. yeah, you start to get a reputation about you. Like, okay, People start really... to talk. Yeah. Yeah. The streets start to say words. And then you might be less likely to win if you mm -hmm. have, a, have a rep like that. Where do you guys watch Survivor? Where is it? Um, CBS? 
Oh, or so it's on TV. It's on. T- you, yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm. It's also like, on Paramount Plus. <laughs> nope. That's right. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> We're paying for everything. Yeah, I watch it live like a grandmother. I'm like going home. I'm like I gotta watch my program. On global. On, on global, global TV. Oh, I might yeah. have global. You should because I have a TV have, antenna. I have a TV yeah. antenna. Oh, that's the way I do it. Yeah, oh, beautiful. old school. Be able to watch yeah. it. But then you can't record it. You have to actually <gasps> watch it live. No. That's so true. But yeah. wasn't there something special about that though? Yeah. If you miss it, you miss it. Yeah. You'll never see it again. Yep. <laughs> no, now you can just go on global. I'm literally advertising. Survivor. <laughs> I swear. Like, like not, you can go on global the TV app. And I'm like, it's uh, very easy <laughs> to watch it if you want to do afterwards. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. Yeah. Good. Um, maybe I might I might have to check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We've talked about it enough that I it may be just kind of weird if you interest. don't. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. And- You've piqued my interest. Yeah. my interest. Mission accomplished. I know, right? I'll get my check that, from CBS in no time. <laughs> that was his that was his goal all along. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um oh we should do the ads. It's like thirty minutes in. Oh wow. Oh, Look at that. Nice. Thirty minutes gone just like that. Oh wait, just Thomas like just said sup just dropped a new music video. Oh, congratulations. Fourteen eleven experiment. Well done. Congrats. He, Fantastic. <clears throat> he told me not to read his name anymore and to just say it's Thomas. Because he jumps onto the pageant sit down from time to time. And I'm like, oh. I think it's Thomas. He's like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, hello, Thomas. Hello. Um, today's episode, everybody, of the sit down with Scott Dion Brown is brought to you by some very important people. Mm-hmm. They make this show possible. They are, of course, our advertisers. So uh, let's meet them here, people. The Toronto real estate market is growing and changing every day. Mm -hmm. In these challenging times, you need someone in your corner. Mm -hmm. Jeanette McKenzie, realtor at Forest Hill Signature, is committed to looking out for you. She'll go the extra mile to ensure you have all the information you need to make a decision you can feel confident about. Purchasing a home is one of the biggest financial investments you'll make in life. Don't leave it to chance. Call Jeanette McKenzie at Forest Hill Signature. She's my realtor. That's right, the place I'm living in. She helped me find it. She's my realtor and she could be yours. Call today at 416-523-0408 or email at jmckenziehomes at gmail.com. Jewelry forever. Conveniently located at CF Markville Shopping Center on 5000 Highway 7 East Markham. They do custom-made jewelry repairs and change watch batteries all done on site. Jerry at Jewelry Forever is a fantastic artist. If you have a vision for a piece of custom jewelry you'd like made, or do you have a damaged piece of jewelry that you need repaired? He is the man to fix it. I saw him fix a ring that was run over by a car. It was like crushed flat. He turned it back to exactly how it was before. Incredible. Mm -hmm. And we have a great deal worked out with them, don't we, Regine? We do. If you go into the store and let them know that Scott and Regine sent you, you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. That's right, 15% off, 1-5%. Mention the show, tell them Scott and Regine sent you. Mm. And uh, get something beautiful, a jewelry forever. Also follow them on uh, TikTok and Instagram for a lot of those behind the scenes repairs and custom stuff that he's making. Mm -hmm. And uh, find out more at jewelryforever.ca. Yes, sir. Beautified by Romina. Internationally trained hair and makeup artist. She is the official hair and makeup artist of the sit down. She does everything from our photo shoot to um, pageants, weddings, showers, date nights, corporate headshots. Um, you name it, she can do it for you. That's right. Official makeup artist of the sit down. Mm-hmm. Does a great job both on men and women. Um, she makes you look real, Scott, after you've burnt your nose. That's right. Um, her website has relaunched, so make sure you check it out. But you can also check her out easier on Facebook and Instagram at Beautified by Romina. There it is. Get in touch, people. Fantastic, fantastic. Or Google her. Or Google her. Look her up. She's, She's everywhere. Google. Yeah, and she really does great work. If you would like to advertise on the show, it's very easy, right, Regine? It's simple. All you guys have to do is email us at radioshowad. That's radioshowad at gmail.com. That's right. We do the show live every week, people. And we also do the ads live week to week. What does that mean? It means that you could personalize them week to week. Do you have an event, a sale, something happening at a particular time in a particular place? You let us know. We let your potential client base know in real time. It's a great way to build a brand new relationship with a brand new audience. Get in touch. Radio show ad, radio show ad, and Gmail. Dot com and we're back. Hi, that's amazing. I 
I hope everyone advertises on this show because the way you guys do it is so fun. I want to advertise on this show. I don't have anything to sell, but... <laughs> email us at radio. Email us at radio.com. <laughs> at gmail.com. That's right. Um, you're uh, on Cameo. <laughs> I, for some reason, I am somehow on Cameo, yeah. I don't think I'm famous enough, but I, uh, I'm there, which is uh, a, a hoot, a blast and a half. How do you get on Cameo, first and foremost? Well, I think to actual famous people, they'll ask you. And to mm -hmm. me, I campaigned outside their door for 10 years. No, I had a friend who is actually uh, well-known. Uh, and she sent me a link. She was like, and I, I, I think she gets money if I get a cameo. <laughs> so it's like, it's oh, a bit of a, it's, you know, it's a, it like makes sense. MLM. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, uh, I, I do love cameo, but it, that does seem to be, you know, a little referral fee. And so, um... Yeah, I was like, okay, I'll sign it. And I, I assumed that they would like somehow vet me. Like they would be like, oh, like this guy has one Instagram follower. Why are we putting him on Gameo? But then, uh, no, they, they somehow allowed me on. So I, uh, I've done a couple and they are fun. I just have fun with them. And it's, it is crazy to think that, oh, like someone actually wants, you know. Would you charge for your... I charge the lowest possible amount, which is, I think, $20 uh, Canadian or 20 I don't know if it's American mm -hmm. or Canadian. But yeah, I charge pretty low, but I'm, uh, I think it's like, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly, um, uh, uh, you know, I'm not uh, Margot Robbie, so I think I, I, I can price myself <laughs> a little lower than someone like her. But yeah, it's, uh, it's fun. It's a cool way to like, you know, yeah, to connect with people, I think, for sure, and to, and to have yeah, and I think it's uh, certainly I, there are people on Cameo that I would love to receive a Cameo mm -hmm. from, like people that I admire and and, uh, and stuff. So the personalization options of it are very, very cool. Like you can be like, the ones I've done, people are like, hey, can you mention this, this, this? And I'm like, yes, of course. And like, it makes it very personal and, and, yeah. and very cool. So yeah, it's uh, it's, a, it's an amazing thing that, uh, and a lot of folks are, are doing charity work through their cameos too nice. if i had if i had more of a uh more of a client base on cameo than something i think mm -hmm. i could probably uh sign up for too i think but yeah so you can like donate your earnings to to, to places that are uh more in need than than a very famous actor so it's it's cool it's that's so cool. cool that's awesome yeah so you should send your referrals uh, coach Scott. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Scott, you'll be on it. And I'll get, I'll, you'll probably get more cameos requests, so I'll get money from you, which is fantastic. I love this idea. So, <laughs> so is that a, Thank you. So wait, that referral code, is it? Is it every time you make a cam, or is it just after you signed up? I have no idea, honestly. I'll have to find ask out. the send friend. Yeah, I'll be like, <laughs> exactly. I'll send it to both of you. Uh, I'll find out. I feel like, I'm sure that, I think I have a way to refer other people too, so. Really yeah, it's very strange, but I'll yeah, I'll send you the call. Send everyone a code. Well, because I saw your <laughs> promotion for Cameo, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. can't do anything and everything. You gotta be careful with what you say. I know. Have you gotten any weird requests? Um, I have gotten uh, from Cameo, not not yet. Okay. But I did yes. have I did have a a, a stalker. Um, this was ah. this was not to do with Cameo, but my um. About five years ago, I think, I started getting these, like, you know, the letters from, like, um, magazine letters, like, you cut, mm. the, like, serial killer style oh, letters. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait, yeah. so you got this in the mail? In the mail, yeah. So, okay. in, into my house. So, that was the first thing. And then I... Your yeah, leave my mm -hmm. my home address, and then uh, the on the on the uh, letters were like you know basically I had way right back like when I first got Instagram I made these stupid little ten second videos where I like popped out of a garbage bag and I was like Daddy's home or something. <laughs> it was like <laughs> the stupidest thing. It was basically me coming out of places where I shouldn't have been yeah. and then saying a line like that. Um, and so it was a very like nobody but my friends knew about these Instagram videos because it was Instagram at the yeah. you know you dawn of, yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely was not verified um, at that point. And so I was uh, yeah I just had these videos out and then this the letters would say daddy's home and mommy's watching like insane Ew. stuff like that and then a picture like a drawing a crayon drawing of me sleeping in my own bed in my house and uh and so i was like Wait. this is <laughs> i guess very strange it's not as bad as it sounds so like i would get these letters okay. then i'd be like i was having a, a meeting with my boss at the 
one of the schools I teach at, mm -hmm. and in like a, I don't know, Starbucks somewhere. Not the schools you teach and, at. Yeah, I know, this is where it gets But, you, you know, I was sitting in this Starbucks, and behind me I hear a whisper in my ear. Oh. Someone <laughs> saying, Daddy's home. And then I look around, and this woman runs out of the... <laughs> Starbucks. I'm not kidding you. This is actually what happened. So then, on my birthday, my friends and I are out for my birthday again. I'm walking on Bloor Street. I get a tap on the shoulder. Woman, Daddy's home. Runs away. And now I'm like, a bit Creepy. like, <laughs> a bit freaked out. So these are the letters are happening. I'm getting emails now from like different emails. And so I have this one friend, the same friend mm. who I think should be on Survivor. Okay. He's very, very clever he's mm -hmm. a clever little boy and he is very sneaky and he has all of these things that will make him great on survivor but sometimes terrifying when you're one of his best friends mm -hmm. and so i'm um all along thinking i'm like it's gotta be chris this whole thing reeks of chris my yeah. friend chris and uh, but he of course was like you know denial denial he's an actor too so he can mm -hmm. lie through his teeth <laughs> and so he's like denying 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 and uh eventually like Eventually, yeah, I, w I got a, a, a video from an email of, I was away in Europe shooting something, and I got home to an email of this woman in my bedroom, in my house. Wait, what? In my chair, like in my little, you know, office chair. And again, spinning around while I was away. In your saying, Daddy's home. home. Yeah, exactly. So that's when I knew, I was like, okay. So oh my roommate, who at the time was another good friend of mine named Drew, um, and he knew Chris, and I was like, there is the connection. Like, there's no way this is anything real now. It's got to be Chris. And so at that point, because my parents and my, like, friends, other friends were like, this is insane. Call the cops. Like, this yeah. is nuts. And I'm like, guys, I swear to you it's Chris. I swear, like, just, I... I was getting, you know, riled up and a little heart rate going, but I was like, I need my guiding light was this, like, my friend who I yeah. knew could pull something like this off. Yeah. And lo and behold, we have a games night at my house and uh, knock on up. the door. Stop! Chris is there. And uh, and he's like, go and see who's at the door. And I open the door and it's his friend, Sarah, who I'd oh, never met before. She's like, daddy's home. And I walk <laughs> right back at the store and I'm like, Chris! You son of a and I'm just uh, you know it, it was all confirmed and he but it went on for a year and a half Stop. a year and a half of this I long would be con. so uncomfortable yeah I was too for for it's, a lot it's of like it your your home your your bedroom and just my like, oh I know what? it's such a violation the school that you teach at no like, thankfully it wasn't at the school that would be that would have been bad. but yeah that's uh, so that was my first the experience. Starbucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so. it, was it really a stalker or was it a paid actor? <laughs> it was, well, she wasn't paid, but she definitely was an actor. And she, uh, you know, she did she did her role with absolute wow. conviction. So the so she was the one tapping your shoulder yep. running away. Yeah, and so he would he would have, like, texted her to be like, I know he's playing soccer tonight at Harvard and whatever. Go and, like, yell uh, Daddy's son. Like, just do it now. He's there. And he was there for my birthday. Like, he, at, looking back, I was like, it all makes sense. It was all things that he knew. But, man. Uh, but I the fact that you already had an instinct that it was your <laughs> one friend behind everything. I, like, because he... He's done similar mm. pranks, let's call them. You gotta get him before. back. You gotta get him back. I know, back. I know. I've, I've been. It's been my life's purpose, actually, mm. to figure out a way. To you know get what him back. you should do to get him back? Sign him up for a Survivor. Sign him up for Survivor. <laughs> I think. But the thing is, he would love it, and he'd be good at it. So I'm like, I don't know if that's a good prank to get him back. But and he desperately wants to be on the show. So I'm like, oh. or you sign him up for The Bachelor. The Bachelor. That's a way better idea. I wouldn't want to do that to his his. A lovely partner who would be oh, <laughs> would sorry. be the real the real. Uh, but you gotta let them know first. Yeah, let them know and then yeah. be like, hey, let's do By this. Way, let's yeah. let's destroy Chris's. Um, or like the Bachelorette, and it gets accepted. <laughs> yeah. and it's like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Because that's a lot of commitment to make to 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 be Dude. able to to have the patience to pull it off for like over a year. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a scary amount of commitment. It's a commitment where I tell my other friends this, and they're like, that is like, <gasps> that is like scary and i'm like yeah, yeah i know what that's show you my should friend. sign them up for <laughs> what, what what catfish catfish <gasps> <gasps> that's a great idea too yeah there's a lot of good ideas hopefully Sorry. he's not listening to this i if uh, he is. i love catfish so that's i'm like ooh, you could have called catfish to find out who your stalker yeah, was <laughs> true i should have i should have put them on the case yeah that would have been a great idea but i'm not that smart regina it's not true <laughs> i'm not that smart <laughs> i've never watched catfish Oh my god, you're missing out. I watched season... Okay, so 
pandemic wise i watched all of rupaul's drag race mm. and then i finished it and was all caught up with like every single one of them mm. and then i was like i need something new i got into catfish i watched season one to what it is now and i'm like Ugh. i can find a catfish <laughs> literally so hooked. So in watching the show catch, that's one where they check if the person you're online dating is real, right? Mm. Do you find that a lot of them in the show are catfish or a lot of them aren't? There's well, a good mix. It's a good mix. There's a good mix. But it gets scary. You know I watch too much reality TV when I have instincts of what's going to happen. Mm. So yeah. you're like, the music start? tells you everything. Or when someone... And don't quote me on this, but I find that if someone gets a lot of TV time, mm. they're either going in for the challenge yeah. or they're going to be eliminated or they're going to be one of the three people up for grabs. Oh, yeah. Well, it's like because mm. it's like they're setting it's like so they're they're, they're making the, the audience a, yeah. get attached to that person. Yeah. I'm like, you're getting so too much TV time. Storyline. Yeah. yeah. Why do we yeah. need to know about your childhood? <laughs> like, yeah, where yeah. are you going? Yeah. Yeah, catfish. I mean, for me, I'm I'm currently um, dating Jennifer Lawrence, and so it's like it's a very, I and I know that's mm. real. I know it's real. There was I've someone like been, on the show that yeah. said they were dating Katy Perry. I'm da I was date. I actually was dating her too, and then oh, wow, and she weirdly broke up with me over over email. Was she a female lesbian pretending to be Katy Perry? Because that's what <laughs> no, happened. No, really. <laughs> this poor guy. No. This poor guy was like talking to Katy Perry for like years, like let's say like five years, oh, and he was like, "No, she's really her." Like, there's she tells me all these things, but it was just a girl who used to be a fan of Katy Perry, and her name on like a chat thing was Katy, Katy Perry. Perry. And he bought an engagement ring, no, and no. like he was so invested in this girl. No. And uh, this is one of those episodes where you're like, "You're so dumb." It's someone <laughs> pretended to be dating or said that they were dating Chris Brown, and some people like, uh, "I'm like, when do they say they're a celebrity, and you have not been flown out yet to, to meet see them." them. Well, yeah, that's what I, it's flag. been weird. Like Jennifer Lawrence and I have been dating for two years now, and she yeah. hasn't like every time I'm like I'm in L.A. Like I'd love to see mm -hmm. you, and she's like, Oh, actually, I'm I'm in Santa Monica. It's too oh, far yeah. of a drive, and I'm like, It's okay. I have but a just rental the, car. The, the schedules aren't yeah. meeting up yet. Yeah, that's all. yeah, and I'm like, that's all It's really is. close. Like Santa Monica and L.A. are pretty much the same city. Like I can literally just drive yeah. to. She's like, No, I'm like, There's a lot of traffic. Out, the traffic's bad <laughs> out there, though. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of traffic and. But I know it's real because, you know, she, she sent she me a, a picture yeah, of oh. her like on the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no one else could have gotten that oh, picture of but no. her, you yeah. know? No, no, no. Yeah. Done I, no. Well, I'm happy for you. That's good. Thank you. I, yeah, oh it's my really, God, you heard it here first, guys. Yeah. And I actually, I'm on my way after this to buy the ring. Just so. watch out. Miley Cyrus Perfect. might come after you. <laughs> Miley, I mean, I, I'll have to say sorry. I'm already, I'm already dating someone. Oh, my God. Oh, and, um. <laughs> One thing that's pretty normal, she might need you to send her like a money order. She already mm -hmm. has, yeah, oh, a few no, times. Oh no, how much money have you sent well, her? Well, it's a kind of a quarterly thing, actually. And oh, so what? I'm like, I'm working a lot of extra shifts, <laughs> a lot of extra jobs to basically support her. Because if you haven't noticed, she hasn't been mm -hmm. in a movie in a little mm -hmm. while. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. she's got a lifestyle. And so but it, she said, you're it's right, the she, least I can do. But then when she gets her next big role, then she'll pay you back like 10 times, right? Is 10 times, five? yeah, yeah, really yeah. And it's, too. and it's like, yeah, really quickly. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so she has all my banking information so she can just deposit it. Oh, maybe she's your stalker. She needs to. It's a beautiful love story. Thank you. Yeah, Wait, but I'm have you FaceTimed her yet? No, she's always like, oh, I like look bad today and I'm like no you're Jennifer Lawrence it's fine you know celebrities can be very yeah yeah, yeah. understandable she does she, we did a phone call once where her voice mm -hmm. was like her voice was kind of like hello and I was like that's yeah. it doesn't sound like you she's like I'm just doing my my mort voice from from Madagascar and I was like oh that's so cute <laughs> that's like, so her yeah it's so that's her so right her. she's so quirky and funny so yeah <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. Up, we're sending Chris up for the catfish. <laughs> we're all the slurry guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not me, though. I'm good. Yeah. It's just crazy to think how many people actually catfish. There, there, there's just... <laughs> I think I think I know some people who are getting catfished, and I'm not going to say who I think it is on air. Really? Cause, not me, I hope. Well, no. I mean, you just said you're dating Jennifer Lawrence, right? So it's, that's legit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But real people in your life, you're like you. You think? Oh, and I told getting... them, I'm like, I think you're getting catfished. Oh no! I am big on finding. I don't know. I just I hate reality TV for that reason because I'm like, I know you're a catfish. Yeah, yeah. And really, they're just. So what these? There's just a lot of red flags. Yeah. Like so, they're just people like online. So that I guess because that's how every online dating starts, right? It's just chatting with people and it's mm -hmm. a photo. I don't. I've yeah. never done online dating, so I don't know. Yeah. I mean, how did you meet Jennifer? <laughs> well, 
<laughs> Ironically enough, online dating. And uh, was her was her username Jennifer? Yeah, it was Lawrence Jennifer underscore Lawrence two five seven four three five five A B four seven five. And uh, yeah, and then yeah, her picture was a really pixelated picture of her from the first Hunger Games movie. Got it. And uh, which like, makes sense. That's what it's she her. would use, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah if I was Hunger her, Hunger Games, of course. 100%, yeah. No, it's, it was beautiful. I don't think Scott caught on to my red flag comment, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. I've heard it. Well. Oh, you mean the, the, yeah. the meme? <laughs> yeah. So we were talking about, in fact, do you have it ready? I, okay. So, we would, so there's a meme that's going around okay. that apparently... Um, Let's be real. I was on TikTok yesterday, and I'm like, Scott, don't even try this. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was <laughs> on TikTok the other day, and um, this thing popped up about red flags with people with the name josh <laughs> and i'm like oh Uh-oh. we're gonna have a josh on the show soon. <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah there are you want no confirm or deny whether these are true all right pl- play it regine but how I is he gonna so. see it well you can just sort of show it show it and then just have it let's see i mean is the video that important to see is more the audio uh it's a i mean if you want to watch it and bring it closer to the yeah, just kind of hold it to your hold it's it to the, the first hold it near the mic just and then just click it. yeah sounds well, good the first video on this page yeah. yeah so people at home will kind of hear it yeah. got it okay I started seeing someone. What? Yeah, he's really nice, and I just, I, I just, I really, really like him. Okay, well, what's his name? Oh, I don't think that really matters. What's his name? <laughs> Matt. It's really important for you to know. Maddie. What is his name? His name's Josh. Oh, <laughs> what? Josh? <laughs> oh, no. no Tuck him out. Red flag. Bing. Red flag. Trash. Trash. flag. Absolute trash. I have to break up with him. Absolute trash. Wait, there's another one. There's another one. <laughs> That's so sad, but true. No, it's not that true. I hope. Oh. So what is it? Is it that a lot of? They're basically saying that the Josh is the is the frat frat boy type guy. Wait, I'm not done yet. Okay. I'm looking for the We're about other to one. Find out. We're about to find out why my name is, why me personally. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is and this, this is about yeah. me. Yeah. I, I know it. It's, it's, Every, it's I take the, personally everything I see on the internet, which is a really good way to live. I think that's how you're supposed. That's what they say you should do. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything I see. So, so what? Do you, how do you respond to that? Um, well, I'm going to uh, uh, talk to a, a lawyer. I think is the first step, the first reasonable Cause that's, step. Because that's that's. Sent- well, see, the other one I want to show him might get you demonetized. So I don't. <laughs> Why? What is that? <laughs> it's the F boy one. <gasps> it's it'll be fine. Okay. We can mute it, and I can just watch the caption if you want. It's no, that's all right. Sorry for the people at home. One with I think it'll be okay. On the girl, one with the girl on yeah. it. Okay, got it. This is your official fuckboy manual, <gasps> Josh edition. Oh my god. Forever. For the first time in forever. I do have that. Yeah. See. They are. They are. Oh, I don't drink, but that's. Call them. <laughs> <laughs> Call them, Jennifer. So um, confirm, Jennifer confirm, deny. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, yeah. What can I say besides the fact that it's all true? It is no, I'm. I'm uh, I I agree though. I agree with that assessment of Josh's overall really? in life. I mean, I haven't met. I haven't met too many Joshes, which is because I think I I I make sure to be the only Josh mm. in every room, and then I yep. I force them to leave. So if I that's why. But I uh, haven't met too many, and the ones I have met have not been like that but i think i think in film and media mm. um it's the way it is it's so true and and the, the butt cheek tattoo is 100 percent 100 real yeah. yeah i think they got that spot on yeah <laughs> literally yeah how do they know <laughs> ask ask sarah <laughs> ask, yeah yeah ask my stalker how, yeah. i i think there's um i think the name scott has some of those same um oh. i don't think so I think, and because I TikTok searched it, no, that Scott is not a red flag name, but Scott Disick, I've, on the other hand, mm, and yeah. Travis Scott, on yeah. the other if hand. Yeah, you have those first two yeah. last names, or yeah. last first names. Yeah. All from the same family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. they're related. Yeah. yeah, you just don't do the Kardashian and you should be fine. Yeah. yeah. But no, I think cer- certain names, like, I, I, I know Scott doesn't have the, the meme for it, but I think... It's kind of got a. You just want to fit in. <laughs> no, but I think it is. I haven't met many Scots either. Well, it's because of the same thing. We we, we keep we sure. Keep them away. I keep. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what? I thought about about that when we first started the show. I'm like, I've actually 
don't know i've never heard of a lot of scots until we started doing the sit down Going and extinct. then after that i realized as i'm watching like reality tv or whatever scott 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 i'm like wow. what? and are they the good guys or the bad guys I don't know. I just noticed that your name bad popped boys. up even more. Bad boys. Bad boys. Do you think it's because your name popped up even more or because I was more aware that there are not a lot of Scots mm. around, that that's what... Yeah, it's kind of a bit of like you you, you maybe wouldn't have no, you wouldn't have thought to notice it before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's that type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think names are interesting too. Like the names that are common mm. and the names that are can becoming less common. I always yeah. think it's so funny. Like I, I, I teach um, kids and I always i'm waiting for like a six-year-old named dolores i'm like who's gonna find yeah. i want to find a kid who's named is gladys like just where's the mm -hmm. kid whose name is russell you know yeah. like there's I know gotta be russell. i have a cousin named russell. <gasps> i love that I lo i'm like <laughs> because these names like there are some great names from the past and they're all being like now yeah everyone is like it's like if you were Apple, if you were born Ava, in the 30s if you're born Colton. in the 30s yeah. i'm like <laughs> ella. Yeah. ella yeah, yeah. Oh my God, so many else. that's Love the thing them. now that th i'm so happy that like i would say i say our generation that it wasn't trendy our no but like but yeah <laughs> no scott you're uh you're in our generation too yeah, exactly but but it's like we're all but, 20 yeah, yeah. 20 21 yeah. Yeah. yeah but but we were before the time where parents were trying to be like creative with their yes. kids names and i'm so happy about that yeah yeah because it's so weird now like i think and i still have this idea in my head i would want to give my kid a name that's normal yeah and i mean normal as in like not not a name that stands like out yeah just so, yeah just something like yeah. i'm different like, than that like greg yeah, you know? it's just like it's not a, it's not a it's a name that like you'll hear it and you'll go oh yeah that's I know that name yeah I know Greg you know I know that guy yeah we know, we know a Greg yeah and, I, and nothing else I don't I don't want I don't want the person because all I'm imagining is that kid will show up at school like a blue ivy oh. yeah or like or like you were we saying Apple Beyonce, or something yeah you show up and no. then it's like oh then you're just giving the the kids a reason to like. You but know, then maybe now maybe I'm wrong. Every other kid is named yeah. something you're like Apple. Oh, my name's Pear. Like oh my, my yeah. name's Starfruit. And you're like, like, well, your name's John Loser. Yeah, yeah. You know? See, <laughs> yeah. my my take on this is, and I jokingly say it, but maybe a part of me is like, actually, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, I got married, and my <gasps> last name. Thank you. And my last name, which I'm not going to put on air, is a very common non filipino last name okay okay and it took me a very long time to want to take his last name right. because i was like regine this doesn't seem right mm -hmm. right yes. and and so i was just like no because okay let's just get, let me just be honest here so i was like i don't want someone to see my last name and then be like she's a white woman mm -hmm. Mm. No offense to white women, mm. but like no, I've no, built sure. my entire or gone my entire life of being a woman of color. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I was just like, I don't want to take that identity away yeah. from me because it's just like, okay, based on the last name, they're going to be like, because she's either this or this. Yeah. Yeah. Where before I'd be like, how do I pronounce this? Yeah. Now everyone can just spell it and I don't have to spell it anymore. <laughs> the only thing I'm spelling now is my first name. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I can understand that, but that's not quite the same. Like, Wait, I'm not done yet. Okay. Sorry, sorry, yes, <laughs> so then I was just like, okay, well, if we have, when we have kids, do mm. I want to give them a typical white name or Western mm -hmm. name when they already have a typical Western last name? I'm like, I mm. want people to know my kids are mixed. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I want to give them some typical hardcore old school yes, Filipino yes, name. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So people know that they're mixed. I love that. I I can understand that, but again, I, I my still husband don't know, will probably be like no. But, <laughs> but even that, I don't know if that's quite. It'd be Greg. Yeah, <laughs> but I think it would be more. It would be more. What more, more we're talking about is I think like, if you were to give them, an atypical name, from like that's atypical anywhere, you know what I mean? No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like I would rather give my child. Like I can understand yeah, wanting to like give a name that's yeah. culturally, yeah. you know, relevant. relevant. Yeah. Like that's you know. Yeah, totally. But the thing is, if you're if you're significant other can't pronounce it properly then something's yeah. wrong <laughs> dad why yeah. do you keep pronouncing my name wrong i'm 14 yeah. Well, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but what i'm saying is like like do you you wouldn't want like would you want to name your kid something like oh i just you know i love when birds fly mm. through the sky so i'm going to name my ch child like soar 
Yeah, you know, sore or like sky <laughs> fall or something. I was gonna say sky, sky is a name. Yeah, sky is a great name. Skyfall, yeah. maybe a great name for a Bond film, but not for a child. Yeah. Would you name your child Grogu? I was just gonna say that. What about Grogu? I mean, yeah, that, that's that's my first, that's my no, number one choice. I knew it. No wonder your girlfriend's like, no yeah. kids, Scott. But no, but that's, <laughs> but that's even what, I, that's what I'm saying is like there are, there are definitely people somewhere out there who has named their kid Grogu. I'm yeah. sure. Like I don't, I, I don't even I have check. Jennifer and my we have our kid oh. named Grogu. <laughs> that's beautiful. So yeah, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Haven't but, seen him yet. <laughs> One day. But he's there. He's, he's there. right next to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've been money transferring. Look like this. You've been money transferring the. Uh, it's child hard support, work right? being a dad who's never seen their kid. You know, yeah. it's and has to or, pay for everything. Or his partner and. Or his partner. <laughs> How does or, that work? Yeah, yeah. Let's, no. let's not get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I would say is I just dislike this thing of, I just don't think you should be using your kid as like a. Oh, what is it? You're mm. you're you're using right, them right, as a right. way to show how <laughs> fancy creative you are. You are? Yeah. yeah. No, it's you know true. I mean? I'm fancy, so my kid's name will be Mug. And you're like, well, yeah, that's not a great name for a kid. Like, Have you seen those um those those that that TikTok? I didn't keep bringing up TikTok, but it was like the dad jokingly um went to Starbucks and said his name was Dubby. Dubby. Yeah. Like Deb. Wait. Dubby. Dubby. Yeah. Dubby. How do you spell Dubby? <laughs> Dobby from Harry Potter. Oh, oh, Dobby. Dobby. Yes, Whatever, yes. same thing. D O B B Y. Okay. So, so That's she great. goes to he's he goes to Starbucks and she's like, coffee for Dobby, and then he, he just gets into character. <laughs> I cannot do. But like, that. what? Give him Dobby a sock. <laughs> yeah. Dobby's would you name that? You would you name your child anything from Harry Potter? Okay, I'd name my kid was... Voldemort for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no Voldy. questions out. Yeah, Voldemort. Voldy. Hey, Come on hey, Voldemort. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. Okay, I am not even against naming somebody, naming your kid after something that you think is cool. Right. But like, again, even in Harry Potter, right? It's mm. one thing you could name your kid Harry, mm. right? I, in my mind, I'm thinking this. Harry Potter. At the end of the day, that kid, you know, once they're not like just a little baby, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna go out into the world, mm -hmm. and they're human. gonna meet people, and I'm not gonna be there, yeah. right? I'm not there. They're not an extension yeah. of me anymore. They're an independent person, yeah. And they have to go through life. Yeah. in normal everyday situations and say hi my name is and i don't want them to have to be like yeah you know my parents are millennials so you know <laughs> what i mean so they named me severus and you're like well that's unfortunate for yeah me. yeah i feel that i feel that have you seen those uh reels where it's like teachers in 2020 or 2036 and they're like naming out the, the yeah roll call? <laughs> that's what i'm talking about yeah, yeah it's like yeah. half the names are like there's numbers in it yeah. and it's like <laughs> hashtag <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jennifer Glad Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope. Yeah, it's rough. But um, I always thought, do you guys ever play The Sims when you were kids? Yeah. Yeah, so I used to play when I was, when I was young. And I would, I'd love, like, I had three little sisters and we would just love to name, like, the mm -hmm. kids. We'd be like, what will we name our kid? And I think mine, my kid was, of name of Dawson. And I From now look, great. I've or... never seen this. I didn't even heard of the show. I just yeah. was like, this is a sick name, Dawson. And I was like, there's no, I had no reference. I never knew of someone named Dawson. I was just like, let's name this kid Dawson. And then I, as I grew up, I was like, imagine being like, and someone who's 75, who's named as Dawson. I was like, does that? Imagine like your grandpa's name is Dawson. Mm. I'm like, does that make, I mean, does that compute to me anymore? Like, I don't know. Is it a too old Dawson. of a name? I don't mind that. You or is know it what? too young of a name? Like, mm. It's like, here's my Dawson. skater kid, Dawson. And then okay, you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I'm a grandpa and my name's Dawson. I'm like, it doesn't I work. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I can see a grandpa being Dawson. Yeah. Okay. Grampy well, Dawson. Dawson. Call up Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> is that Brooke anymore? <laughs> I mean, Dawson feels, again, I, Dawson at least still feels like a name. Dawson That's is true. a nice name. Yeah. yeah. Not like, my name is NHL. You're like, why? Yeah. Why would you do that? Stormy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stormy, Stormy, baby. <laughs> or even just like weird, I don't know. There's so many, like, especially now there's people like, where the like, parents will give their kid like a, a normal name. Yeah. Call them something else. But, no, no, no. Oh. But they'll just be like, <laughs> but they'll spell it. Like oh God, the yes. weirdest way. Yeah. In fact, yeah. So if you're teaching, you probably may, may even see it sometimes. But like, you probably yeah. don't want to say any of it. <laughs> teaching them. Got one on the tip of my tongue right now. Tell us. But yeah. Tell us. Tell no, because she's us, an amazing Mr. kid. <laughs> no, but it's like it's like it's like it's like oh, 
What's your name? Oh, my name is John. Oh, can you spell that? Yeah. Uh, uh, G J A yeah. H O N. Yeah. Okay, okay, but I've had this conversation with my husband. Okay. okay. For example, in the Philippines, they yeah. spell May, which we say M A Y as M A E. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or like they spell different word or different names with A E or yep. yeah. So it. But again, I don't think I see. I don't think that's weird. I think I don't think it's you weird. You said it was weird. No, no, no. I I think it would be weird if it wasn't like it's it's culturally normal there, right? right. I've seen so many spellings of Regine. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is what I'm what, what I'm pointing Ugly. out is that people purposely picking things that aren't yeah, yeah. names. Hmm. Not just like oh this is like this is normal in this part of the world like that's yeah. nothing wrong with that if you know if you come from India or you come and you know and you so want to keep your be culture alive bolt like if <laughs> yeah or like if your name was what about toot toot yeah yeah or like this <laughs> if it was spell May it? spelled M E I G H then we're getting like nay like a horse right, that right, would right, be right, like right. unless it's you know Irish. culturally <laughs> relevant exactly. May old Donner oh old Connell old Doherty you're like that's that's Scottish but yeah I feel like. Yeah. Okay. If that's it's culturally relevant. Then 100. Yes. But if it's like someone living up in you know Rosedale who you know is just like <laughs> wanting to like confuse people. Like, yeah. Mm. Because which is kind of fun, but also like kind of annoying for the kid because they'll be like, no, it's actually spelled like this, not yeah. like yeah. Like my kid's name with is two Q's in a row. You're like, yeah. What was that dance? The Harlem Shake. Mm. My name's Harlem Shake. <laughs> you know. At least it's not Shamrock Shake. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Lucky Charm. Yeah. <laughs> Like here's what I think. Here's what I think. Skittles. If if you <laughs> if you want to name, use those types of names. Mm. Use give use your that pet as a name. No, give your pet yes. that name. Yes. Why do you, you know name what? pets human names? Because it's funny. As it's funny. You know why? I would so never funny. name my dog Bobby Orr. Or maybe. <laughs> Bobby Orr's a nice name. <laughs> well, like. But my point David. is, the point is, the dog will never have to deal with any type of like. Yeah, they so, will. No, have you watched Secret Life of Pets? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe oh, they do have to deal with it. They do have to introduce each other, and they're like, "Oh, yeah, my name is, my name's Craig." And you're like, "Well." Did you say Craig or Greg? <laughs> I said Craig this time. Switching it up. <laughs> when you said <laughs> David, I couldn't. I could. I. My did you watch Shit's Creek? Uh-huh. Yes. Did you watch this creep? Yes. Okay, so now Watch every time we hear show. David, I go, like, like, hello, David. <laughs> David. 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 I love that That's show. a great show. Incredible. Um, Desperately wanted, I can never desperately name wanted my, to be on it. I can never name my child David after that, though. Yeah. David. Well, like certain, that's the thing. Certain things like affect yeah. um, names. Like, for example, you'll, I don't think we're going to see a, a girl named Karen for a while. No. Or Alexa. Yeah. I, Alexa. Or Alexa. Or a, uh, like a girl. Siri. <laughs> or, yeah. Or uh, someone named, you know, um, someone named... Baltimore, Josh, Baltimore. No, <laughs> <laughs> Josh, yeah. The Josh population. Yeah, all is... the kids who used to be named Voldemort are now like, oh shoot, like now I have to deal with this yeah. like other mm. very famous Voldemort. Mm. Like now I'm. Yeah, there were like um, there were three three Voldemorts in my graduating class. Yeah, and they got it's so awkward. They got for them it. Now. They, they got it so bad. Now. Voldy, the name that cannot Voldy, be. Yeah. The name that Mort. Mort. One of them goes by Mort, <laughs> Mort. <laughs> which is way worse, honestly. Somehow. Mort. Yeah. Than, than an evil wizard. So anyway, be careful what you name your kids, people. Yeah. <laughs> we went off topic. Because we're going to judge you. <laughs> yes. How did sadly. this conversation start? I think I brought it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I was talking about all the, the kids that I teach with these, these crazy names. Yeah. Um, we should ask you just to make sure we... Uh, any other stuff you're working on that you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. I've been listening to your voice change a couple times. And I, I dig deep into your Instagram and saw that you oh, did that. voice acting. I do. And okay. that is something that I said that I wanted to get into. So can you talk great. about, no, I don't like my voice enough, but can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about how, so sad. How, did you get, how I got into that? Um, I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm still trying to get into it. Honestly, it's, I've been very lucky. I've had a couple of great um, projects that I've been able to be a part of. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very, I, I don't know how many hundreds of auditions I mm. guess I must have done and, and a couple of them come through and stuff but it's basically I've got a great agent uh, her name's Daryl Schwartzberg my other agent Megan uh, who just does all my film stuff she's also amazing <laughs> yeah I know fantastic <laughs> Megan Allison they're both incredible incredible people um, incredible names but uh, yeah she basically you know she gets a casting breakdown she sends it to me and then I try my darndest to get the job um, but yeah I find it's it's fun like I always used to 
I grew up making funny voices with my sisters and my family, and mm -hmm. and now when I when I teach, I use I use it as a tactic too, and, and it's it makes you know it just keeps people on their toes. I find mm -hmm. <laughs> it keeps people keeps kids engaged. If you can mm -hmm. change your voice like every five seconds, they're like, oh, who's talking to me now? Oh, same guy. But it's still. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's a lot of fun, and it's you go to work in your pajamas, and you don't have to memorize your lines usually. So it's like there's a lot of pluses to it. Um, mm -hmm. And then yeah, you get to see the wor results of other people doing their creative work to see what you actually look like, which is very very cool. Yeah, because I was watching that that clip that you had, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like Josh. Wait a second, <laughs> was it from Doomlands? Maybe I was yeah. looking at like yeah 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 Doomlands was a is it? I literally show. dug really deep into. It. I was I was like let's. Let's see what's new. Let's see what's, what's new. What's happening? I'm, like, oh, I'm in 2022. Not much. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. That was a great group of people. It's cool. A lot of improv. When you're um, when you do they send you uh, oh, like a picture of your? So when you have to create a character, mm. do they do they tell you what he's going to look like and then you kind of build it from there? What do you? How do you do? What sometimes, do? yeah. Sometimes you're lucky and they send you for the audition. They'll send you um. Uh, a picture so you can be like oh this is who I look like uh, and you can kind of shape the voice around that a lot of times they won't uh, but certainly once if you get the job then mm. usually by that point they've figured out how he or she's going to look or yeah. they're going to look and then you get to uh, yeah base that's your cool. little stuff off of that which is great that's yeah. interesting I'd be like you don't look like what you sound like I think I've said that to a few people yep. in yep. my life you really? don't yeah like you know how some people are like oh you look taller than I thought you would be I'd be like, oh, your voice sound does not match what you look like. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, okay. You're like, you look like a leprechaun that's just been stepped on, but you sound like a podcast host. <laughs> like, that's, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think. Yeah, it's true. It's it's. Uh, I love I love using my voice as singing and and doing whatever I can with it. Yeah. Cool. Speaking of singing, I know you. What, did we already talk about that? You put out an EP. Did no, we say that already? Not about it yet. <gasps> you put out an EP. I did. Yes, I did. It was. Uh, very scary, but very, very cool to uh, to do. And uh, yeah, it's out right now. It's called Variety Show, and it's pretty much the title says it all. It's very mm. uh, there's a variety of different tracks from the '80s vibes to more pop to some hip hop to uh, very Celtic. Just in time for St. Patrick's Day, the, mm. the last song on the album is about my home of Nova Scotia. So yeah, I had a lot of fun. I got to collaborate with some some great people and. Uh, yeah, I'm very proud of it. I, I wasn't wasn't sure if I was going to be, um, you know, you're always such a perfectionist and you're like, oh God, yeah. is it ready? Is it ever going to be ready? But it's, uh, yeah, I'm very happy that I did it and overcame my usually misguided fear of just being like, oh, it's never going to be good enough. But I mean, and you do the same thing. You're, you're putting out this amazing content I see on your Instagram all the time. And it's like, mm -hmm. it's so, it's, it's fantastic because you, you have to, once you put it out in the world, it has a life of its own, and people are like, "Oh my god, this is incredible!" And you never would have gotten that, you know, feedback unless you put it out there, right? So mm -hmm. it's it's. We would have never cool. known what Scott looks like as the Beast if you didn't oh, put that. I out love there. that video. It's so cool. The Beast. It's or what so you cool. would, or what you would sound like if as uh, uh, Isabella from. That's right. Encanto. From Encanto. Man, That's I've right. heard that song. We would never so see Scott times. fall from the sky so gracefully yeah. if it wasn't for that video. Exactly. That's you. That was you suggesting me to do that song. I don't think I ever would have Yeah, I did. It yep. was a hit. It was. Song. I was like, you yeah. should do it. It's a great song. Yeah. And I didn't think you could pull it off, but you did with all those different <laughs> voices. No. You heard it here first, people. <laughs> <laughs> I encourage you to do, but I didn't think you could do it. It's no, a tough there song. So many, yeah, yeah, and there were so many different, different characters in the song. Yeah. Yep. It was. Um, now we know what you look like bald. Well, we know that's why. Like, yeah. Well, that's why I didn't even know. Like, it. if I would, it wouldn't have even occur to me to do it because of how many different, especially like a lot of female parts. I was like, I don't know if I would want. Well, you killed it. Yeah. Your falsetto is fuck. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say a bad word, but it's great. It's Thanks. so good. How long did it take you to master Isabella? Uh, I can't. Even, I I, uh, I don't even know what. It came naturally to him. Mm. <laughs> it was just very, you know, minutes. Minutes, you minutes. Yes. brought it out. It was just like he was falling just, from the sky, and he's like, "It's, it's going to work." It's there she work. was, and there she was. <laughs> you so should have worn my wig. <laughs> sure, missed opportunity. <laughs> that would have been nice. Um, so this was your first EP ever? Yes, yeah, first. Wow. I put out a soundtrack album before, but this is the first kind of music of first time me singing was out there and like my own music and lyrics. And I, I often think I have the the lyrics lyricism of a uh, toilet, and so I was like, I don't think I can really do this. But then you know, after years of figuring out how to uh, rhyme something and mm -hmm. using a handy website called rhymezone.com, <laughs> I was like, oh, I can actually you know put a couple words together and not make them sound like. 
vomit and so it worked out okay and then and then yeah it was it was cool to kind of yeah play different genres because I, I was trying to figure out like who am i like what is my yeah. musical soul and i was like i think it's everywhere it's all over the place that's fine so when you started so you when you started creating music or started being a musician no. you started from was it starting for you as soundtracks was that the first music you created or or i mean yeah kind of my, like my i would always write kind of tunes as a kid like when i was playing piano and my sisters and i uh i did musical theater and stuff and so it was music was always like singing was always there mm -hmm. um but in terms of yeah the stuff i wrote it was you know yeah instrumental stuff usually wow. and then uh and then I was like, I want to make an album, but I need words for that. And so mm -hmm. I was like, okay, time to buckle down and figure out how to do that. And so, and again, I was lucked out. I had a couple of amazing rappers on um, who are friends of mine and colleagues, mm -hmm. and, and they they did they did the heavy lifting for the lyrics in the album in terms of like their stuff is amazing, and the mm -hmm. rest of it is my you know my stuff that I'm I'm happy with. Certainly, no regrets at all, and, and mm -hmm. I'm glad it got to that point. But if I had if I had shaved off any more time, I think it would have been, the quality would not have been there in terms of my lyrics. So I'm very happy with how it ended up turning out. Well, you have some, you have a great voice. I used, so I run our social media, our oh, Instagram, yeah? and I clipped it in one of our stories. Oh, cool. Then, I yeah. literally listened to all of like snippets of all of them. I'm like, oh, he has a nice voice. That's so nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys, I mean, yeah, I'm sitting across from two very talented people myself, so. Right back at you. I'm not very talented, but thank you. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, even Grogu Anyways. thinks so. Even Grogu. <laughs> <laughs> so Variety Show is uh, out now on all streaming platforms. Everywhere. Yeah. Except SCD because turns out that's expensive. To, Except for uh, what? To do. Oh, Except CDs. for CDs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. CDs. Yeah. Well, CDs, you have to do like to get any. It's like minimum of a thousand yep. made. And maybe you should reach out to Jennifer Lawrence and maybe so she can help true. you. So true. Most people in the industry, right? It's true. She hasn't yeah. helped me with anything yet, but <laughs> she's I'm she's busy. To think it's not she's actually busy. her. Oh <laughs> you know, goodness. I'm starting to think. I think it's we not cracked the code, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. No, don't 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 doubt yourself. Just keep on believing. Yeah, just okay. keep believing, all and right. uh, we'll do. That's all I needed to hear. Next time you come on this show, you should bring her. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Sure. Sure. She's <laughs> actually been waiting upstairs the whole time. That's Sarah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my stalker still. Yeah, yeah. still here. Um, oh, one thing I kind of wanted to talk about. It's not nothing to do with anything other than I saw a tweet. Mm -hmm. Yes. I saw a tweet. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I'm curious. I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Okay. And it's not even the tweet itself. It's the, kind of the reaction to the tweet. So Ian Hanamancing. What is a tweet? Ian Hanamancing, icon. Um, what, I think my mom met him, I think. Oh, really? I Who think is so. he? He's a, I believe he's, is, is he the CBC Vancouver anchor? I think that's who he yes. is. Yes. Yeah. He was doing the national stuff. I was like, how did your mom meet him if you're in Nova Scotia? Because I just think he went to Dal with oh. my mom at the same time. I think. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. What does he look like? Uh, uh, he looks like, I'm sure you've he's seen great. his face. He's great. He's a great. Yeah. He's got great a really, host. really great voice as well. Yes. Um, that guy. You okay. got, you must have seen him. Okay. Hang on. So he tweeted this. Okay, I was, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tweet it. I'm gonna read his tweet. That's I, good. I'm I just, screenshotted it, yeah. but I actually want to go to the actual tweet. It's okay. Here it is. So, this is five days ago. Five days ago. Fresh. <laughs> is it though in Twitter land? <laughs> true. I mean, that's true. <laughs> Old news. All right. So he writes. So the guy in the buffet lineup used his hand instead of tongs. Oh, oh no. Hang on. To pick up the slice of banana bread. Okay, but he just looked at it and put it back no, down. No, no, no. He writes. Bad. Do I talk to him? Do I take the slice and throw it away? Do I passive aggressively tweet? Breakfast suddenly got complicated. So that's the tweet. Mm, mm. That's gross. I would that's tell disgusting. someone that works there yeah. so they can deal with the situation. Okay, so we're. I think in general, then, where you agree with that's Ian, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough. Has that's anyone rough. learned anything during this pandemic? <laughs> Probably well, not. Okay, here's he was the, the one person that did not wash his hands. Yeah, like. <laughs> But here's the problem, okay? The problem I have with this okay. is not the tweet itself. Here's some of the responses. And maybe this is oh, Twitter, no. okay? Of course This it is. is so sad. Um, so this person, question, if he had said, oh, the National, huge fan, and you shook hands, would you have immediately washed your hands afterward prior, afterward prior to eating? Also, let's be real. If those tongs are not being sanitized between every use, they're a huge potential vector of disease. If the man has norovirus on his hand touches the bread, only that piece is contaminated. If he touches the tongs, every person who uses the tongs after. Who but, is this? Dr. Fauci? Like, who, who I don't know. That? I don't know. But the thing is, like, wait, so are people 
are people saying, and this is not the only person like this here, with an airborne pandemic on, I'd honestly be more concerned with the air from the hundred people in the buffet than the hands of one person. Mm -hmm. But you do you. I'm like, wait. That's so fast. Okay. But wait. But are these people saying then it's that, is he, are they, I, it just feels like such a perpetually, just like an online, like, what do you mean? So you're, are they saying that if they were, are they the people in the buffet who pick up the food and touch it and then put it down? And I they're think like, they are. I think that guy. They see the crab legs there. and they're like, nah, not yeah, this one. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah, nah. And yeah, then if I'm like, excuse me, that's gross. And they're like, oh, excuse me. Unless there's like norovirus on my hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you you're check overreacting. My hand for norovirus? What, what, what are their names? Yes. <laughs> what are their that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. It's uh, so, <laughs> so I'm not the only one who's like, wait, what are you? Okay, can I just say? Yes. During the pandemic, when things started to open up, I just got really comfortable here. Sorry. Um, if so, my family went to a, went to the Mandarin, but we didn't we didn't do the buffet because it was still pandemic. We just did like right. a pre order type of thing. Mm -hmm. But Mandarin did have disposable gloves to use before you touched the nice. tongs. Nice, love that. And you have to wear your mask mm -hmm. to go get your food. That sounds great to me. I've never been to Mandarin, and I am. I boycotted Mandarin. Like, because of the pandemic? Or? No, even before then. I only went because oh. my family was like, we're going to the Mandarin. Oh. Well. I don't know if I can say it on air, so I'll say it after. Okay, oh, okay. good to know. Then I I'll, just, then I'll I just, never go. <laughs> I just boycotted it. Great. It. Done. Um, I have a theory about anyone replying to anyone who works at the CBC on Twitter. And I mm -hmm. think, and this is going to get real political, but I think there's a there's interests that are maybe not even human maybe robot interests that mm -hmm. are uh actively you know just going against anything that anyone who is at the cbc because it's like the media and it's yeah you know, i think that's kind of you know what that's that's a very good point in that it's just because he said it scott <laughs> you, know? you should copy and paste it on yours and see what <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> yeah, see what here's another one well the respiratory droplets he breathes out and emits while talking land on the food while others then pick up and eat so if you're okay with that then the hand touch thing is no <laughs> big you're deal okay with that so that's so passive aggressive yes so Maybe. much for a uh, a breakfast tweet that's what i mean uh, it, it, it just feels like these are just people who are like they're trying to like sound super clever yes you know that's what I meant. I was like, it's like actually did you know that yeah. i'm like okay fine but what are you saying so it's like oh yeah when i go into a restaurant i just go around everybody's table and pick up all yeah. their food and because guess what it, lick it and get it back down because it's totally fine because unless so there's norovirus on my head my yeah, birthday yeah, yeah. anymore scott <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yummy yummy i'm back on the table like no oh, have you guys not seen scott during an episode when we have food on the table <laughs> You mean I just like Scott I goes, just touch it? <laughs> and <they're> double dipping. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get in there. It's like I want this donut. Actually, no. Actually, this one has a speck on it. Yeah, that's I didn't breathe out. enough on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like that tweet. It's very. It's almost just almost a funny, just like a funny little observation of like, oh, yeah. can you believe people do that? Yeah, and, and then, then everyone's like, you, you know nothing, John Snow. And you're like, okay, yeah. well. But it makes you sorry. think of like our buffet is dead after pandemic i hope or... not it's the only thing i live for honestly yeah. but you've never been to the mandarin i know it's, pro it's usually problematic i go to like hotel buffets mm. usually when i'm staying at hotels but sometimes even if i'm like you know there's a best western down the road and i need a muffin mm. and so i'm gonna take my little ginger head and eat one mm. for free usually because they don't check no that's <laughs> true this is not true by the way i need to be very clear even though this sounds like it's something i could and should do i feel and like probably will do right after <laughs> right after this i have not done this but now that i'm talking about it out loud it, it sounds like it's a great idea yeah yeah, yeah that's idea. true because they don't check like are you staying here no. like if you just walk there in there in especially if you area? look tired and you were like have like a mm -hmm. pajamas on yeah so the world's your around, oyster now. Just walk, walk in. <laughs> yeah. Mondays, am I right? I know, guys. <laughs> yeah. Long conference this weekend. I'm going to hit the pool later and just like literally, I mean, the pool usually has a little key card yeah. thing. But not if you make friends you with anybody That's yeah. in the breakfast. You're like, you go to the pool? Yeah, I'm going to go there too. Or, you know, I'll just, I'll walk with you. And boom, you're in. Yeah. Where's your room? Oh, my room's 306. You walk, well, there's a room with a, of someone cleaning it. You go in. Oh, thank you. I, 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 you can you can keep working. I'll just be working in the corner. That's not good. Now like you're how, at all. How, how far could it go? I mean, how far? How far? Could it go? One day, this next day, you're movie. the CEO of the hotel. Yeah. You own the hotel. I think yeah. I think Josh and Scott are gonna create a movie, guys. 
Uh, this is sounding more like real life. <laughs> <laughs> but I think a TikTok it series. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a good movie. That's true. And just change your na- uh, your voice and your yeah. name, and no one will know it's you. Do a little King Julian voice. My I keep doing King Julian. My my or Mort from Madagascar. You know Madagascar. Mm. My my sister had a, a beautiful baby named Julian. And uh, I was like, you didn't think that one through, did you? Because all I'm going to be doing, talking to this baby in, like, pr- I like King- to move it. Like, it's just yeah. going to be King Julian. all the time. All the time. <laughs> I saw him when I went to, uh, you saw King Julian? yeah, at Universal. Oh my God, I would have lost my mind. Yeah. Wait, what, I don't think, have like I penguin. seen? The penguin. Oh, and they had him walking around. Was he animatronic? No, he was someone real? dressed up. No, he was real. <laughs> he was, was a, a giant, real giant, giant penguin. He was but a penguin. It, Oh, G- no, sorry. <laughs> it's a giant lemur. Le- lemur? Yeah, lemur or something. I, I couldn't tell you. What, what does a lemur look like again? Oh What's God, a lemur? Sh- I have a picture of it. Oh, wait. Lemurs Zubumafu. Are- you ever watched those? Oh yeah, God, they're the, Zubumafu. they're the, like, kind of like, not like, like skinny, skinny, skinny Scott- bears. Skinny monkeys. Skinny think, monkeys. <laughs> skinny bear. Scott yeah, yeah. watches Zubumafu. He's not in our Yeah, it's like a, race. it's like a skinny iguana. With no legs. And that's a lemur, I think. I have a that's a weird thing. If someone asks you to describe an animal, that's hard, right? You're like, ah, yeah, like, yeah, four legs, a like, tail, probably. Like, imagine somebody's never seen an elephant, mm. right? Jesus. And they're like, what's an elephant? And you're like, oh, tell me. Wh- wh- this giant, you know, an elephant. Yeah. Like, if someone said describe it, what would legs. you say? I'd be like, imagine like a, a big old, like an oil tank, like a, with a, with a mm. two giant flaps on it, like mm. a curtains, and uh-huh. then a huge... I can't say it on air, but you know, you know what I mean. And it's uh, coming right out the nose. That is the nose, actually. And then coming out of the nose. Then, and then two big, like sharp teeth. Do they have tusks. I don't have tusks. They got tusks. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I have failed <laughs> kindergarten. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's a lemur. Okay. Okay. A very cute. Yeah. That's. <laughs> well, I would just say, I would just say, like, I, I have an image of what a lemur looks like, but that costume to me doesn't look that lemury. But that's also I don't a, like they a, usually wear clothes. I think is the thing. I don't think they usually wear clothes in the wild. Not, not always. I don't think so. Not always. No, not always. For I, special occasions. For someone's birthday, yeah. they're all wearing their birthday suits. Yeah. I have a question for you. If someone were to ask you to describe a monkey, how would you describe? Yeah. Okay. Them? I like this. So someone's never seen a monkey, and I have to describe it. Okay. Well, that's an easier one because. Just like us. Yeah, they kind of look yeah. like us, We're right? Just like just imagine, just imagine a person, right? Shrunk a little bit. A smaller person, yeah. completely Child. covered in fur, or like hair. thick, thick, thick hair. Yeah. Mm. Like yep. like thick that you can't see the skin underneath. Yeah. They have a tail. They have a thin little tail, like mm-hmm. a rope. Mm-hmm. Um, and bigger ears. Yeah. Right. But some people have big ears, like a monkey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like bi- like. You, like, you, like you would this. imagine, like, big, yeah, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and also, they have a face like, yeah, the face is kind of uh, is it pushed out? You think like it's like yeah. it's more like their mouth a, is yeah. pushed yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's pretty good. See, I would say a small plastic thing that's red that lives in a barrel. <laughs> oh, is that your? Oh, is this a transition uh-huh. for you? Great right, oh. <laughs> Well done. Okay, yeah, I, I get it. Well I, get, I see where you're going for. Done. I'm like looking at Scott, like he's not getting. But it. I can, <laughs> hang on, I kind of like this challenge though. Hang on, let's try it one more time. Okay, try a different animal. Well, you have to try one now. Oh, okay. okay. Tell, tell. Hey, Regine, what's a what's a fish? <laughs> what's a fish? It's so vague. What's a fish? Can you pick a different, like a specific? Okay. Fish? Do you have another one you could pick? What what you should describe? Um, what's a uh, like a specific fish, not a fish? Or or a, a dog. A dog. What's a dog, Regine? That's also very vague. Very vague. <laughs> like, okay. What's a what's a Okay, but is that is that harder though? If it's okay, how about yeah? Because what's then a, it's like what kind of fish or what right, kind of dog? what's a what's a Dalmatian? Regine? Mm, yeah. I've never seen one. What's a Dalmatian? <laughs> uh, you asked a woman who is terrified of dogs <laughs> to describe a dog. Okay. Um, From a distance, what would it look like? They look like... So I'm like closing my eyes and like you have to give me a picture oh, in my no, head. I've never seen one. Scary. Um, they are... Sk- are they skinny? Are Dalmatians skinny? Yeah, I think Depends they're Depends on what you feed them. That's oh, a yeah. good point. They are... Um, Close to the ground, but not really, depending on how old they are. <laughs> they are like a skinnier blob with four legs. Okay. A skinny blob with four legs. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so people use to describe me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he crawling around? <laughs> um, and I don't really know what a Dalmatian looks like. That's not cartoon. Um, we'll use that. <laughs> like, this is terrible. Um, they Close. are they are white and covered with white uh, black dots. Uh-huh. 
white guy. Some more than others. Yeah. Some might say they're a black dog with white spots, but it depends on how spotty yeah. they are. Um, they have a black nose, like a little round, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And they have floppy kind of looking ears and a skinny tail. And some might but, want to capture them and capture 100 Ruella of them. Deville. 101, yeah. 101 of them. 101 yeah, 101 of them. Someone might want to do that. I don't know how they to describe a, nice a dog. That wasn't bad. I'm like, I can't. I'm I've got a perfect image in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the head. It's flubber. But it's yeah. <laughs> the, the, head, the head would be the hardest part to describe. Yeah. The head it's a weird cone part. thing with yeah. two floppy ears. Yeah. Weird cone thing with two floppy ears. Would you say? A cone. Yeah, a cone's a good word yeah. to use. But yeah. would you say a zebra is white with black stripes or black with white stripes? I've been down this road before. My students always try to trick me with this. It's thing. like Dalmatians. Are they white yeah. with black stripes it's or always black some with joke. white stripes? Uh, Actually, I thought I saw a TikTok. Not. Somebody said which one it was. But in my head, it's white with black stripes. But I don't know if that's right. We'll have to ask, like, yeah, ask. Ask Jennifer Lawrence. I'll call her up after, <laughs> after the show. Yeah, I'll call we, her up. We just got really into Madagascar there. <laughs> okay, so on that note. Always into it. Have you seen this before? A barrel of monkeys, yeah. Good. Are there Love monkeys them. in Madagascar? Yes, I want to say. Good question, though. We'll have to watch it. There's penguins. I'm not sure if there's I... There's a hippo. There's a lion. And a zebra. And a lemur. Have you played this game? <laughs> I don't know if I have. Is it just where you have to like try to hook as many yes. monkeys as you can? Yes. As we can? So you. I think seen I have it, when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. So that may, maybe maybe this will maybe that experience will help you here today. But sure. uh, let's find out, ladies and gentlemen. This is this week's edition of the uh, Barrel of Monkeys World Championship. That's exactly wow. how you described it, Scott. Yeah, exactly like that. I mean, that's basically yeah. This is the world championship. This yeah. is the world championship. Oh yeah, this is big. I don't know oh if you. God, I was yeah. not prepared. This for is going to be the. This I don't is, think I qualified, but uh, it's uh, try. good thing. I guess you did. Maybe you didn't realize. <laughs> Sweet. You did. Okay, yeah. so here I'll explain the rules. Okay. So this is the classic game, Barrel of Monkeys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Came out in the '60s, I believe. Mm -hmm. The way we do it here, the barrel will sit on the table. Yes. I will put a one minute on the timer. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will say three, two, one, go. You'll grab the barrel. Yeah. You pour out the monkeys. Okay. Ooh, that's a great pour. Yeah. You'll pick up a monkey. Use this monkey to pick up a as many another as monkey. Whoa! Exactly. Okay. Um, then you use that monkey to grab another monkey. Now, if it, you end up in this situation where you've got two on the same, yep. that will still only count as one because we're counting links Length. of monkeys. Copy that. Okay. Okay. We um, always, that so yeah, sense. you just keep going. You grab as many as you can in one minute. When you run oh, out wow. of time, okay. it'll freeze, and then the one in your hand does not count towards your total. So this, in this case, would be one, two, three. That would be four. That would be a four score. Okay. okay. That's great. Um, okay. Let me think. If there's anything else that I should say. Do you have any questions? Any? About the game? Um, no, I think I was born for this. So. All right. I like that. I like this that confidence. Put on this earth to do. All right. I'll hand you that. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to get. Oh, so you gotta shake it up. Yes. First. Okay. You can shake it up. Yeah. And then, but it'll start with the. Or actually, the, I shouldn't shake it up to make it settle. Yeah. You can do whatever you. Whatever want. you like. It'll start with the thing closed on the table though when you're, <laughs> when you're ready to be. Okay. Okay. You can't touch it. So we got one minute on the clock. One minute on the clock. Let me see if I can move my mic here to be. Yeah. You can just, if you want it to the side of your way, you can move it to the side. Okay. It's up to you. I'll try. Um, okay. Uh. All right, let's kick it to your camera. Okay, are you uh, are you ready? Oh, you I'm don't need to talk stressed. into them. You can. I don't need the to it's up to you. Okay, Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you need to do to maximize your monkey performance. I think I want to. I think I want to go all in. So yeah, okay. I'll talk to you guys on the other side. All right. Are you ready? All right. Oh, no. Hands off. Hands, hands off. off. Very strict sir. rules here. I've already cheated. Yeah. All right. Ready? Three. Two. <laughs> one. Go. All right, the pour has happened. So you can only use this. Hold the one that you're holding. Oh, whoa! You ended up. Look at that. How did that happen? Um, we'll figure. We'll, we'll no. That that extra one might count actually. Oh no! Now, the interesting thing we'll here will be, you can you can do whatever you want, but it, I, that's a pretty How strong start. We We've got 26 seconds have gone by. So it's a few. Oh. 30 start. seconds. Restarting. He's restarting. Oh, you don't have to put it. No, you don't need to. You don't need okay, to. Okay, do that. Yeah, that's okay, fine. That's okay. okay. Now pour. Okay. All right. <laughs> this has never happened before, guys. Oh, ladies. He's only got 20 oh, seconds oh, remaining. Oh, oh. oh, they're all separate. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're all right. You're all right. All right. There you go. See what you can do. 
<laughs> if I end up with one, I'm gonna be so Well, that's sad. your fault. It is my fault. I had four or three, I think. Okay. <laughs> Five seconds left. Five seconds? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come on, monkey! Get over here! Time! Okay. Oh my. All right. I, uh, there's a reason why I qualified for the world championships. I mean, that was, so that's, I mean. Is it the saddest thing you've ever seen? Be honest. I will say, okay, we're going to look at the standings. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. I will say this. Um, <clears throat> we have just seen something that we've never seen before. Someone, Someone so bad. Someone redo from the beginning and the yeah. middle of the competition. That and was. destroyed their own chances of winning. Yeah, because you had a whole bunch. I had it. I had it in my hand, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and I decided to throw it all away. You threw it all chance. back in the barrel. This is why I shouldn't gamble. You threw here, it let's, all back in the barrel. So let's take a look at the standings. Okay. Oh. I think we can. I think oh. we know. So. Oh no. I mean, you have broken a new record for worst ever performance. It's, it's Actually, just not. Is it the worst? Scott, um, you got nine. I did. Incredible. He cheated because he got to warm up. No. Yes. It, it was. Yes. So what it was yes. was that the timer accidentally got set to. Accidentally got to a hundred minutes. Oh, one <laughs> oh, an hour oh, instead of a minute. Okay. So because of that, we had to start again. There was no you other did a way to go. Full hour of it. <laughs> Honestly, the whole episode. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, so as you can see, there we go. Um, oh, it uh, jumped off. <laughs> now it's one. <laughs> James. That is, it was um you know what hey you know what don't sugarcoat it i need to go back to the training ground i mean i will say the fact that you chose to start again that's on you <laughs> it's a horrible move yeah i was like oh i can definitely like i thought there was going to be more because i was running out of options on the ground i was like no. oh there's definitely going to be a way for me to make up and he you know? closed it to shake it. yeah i did all the wrong things you can tell that i haven't played this in 20 years but I'll be starting again today, oh tomorrow, God. Wednesday. Actually, well, you are now very proudly occupying one position on your own. <laughs> I hope someone. I hope you get someone who's worse than me. I don't think you ever will, ever, because unless you bring in like a child who's learning to like use his hand-eye coordination for the yeah. first time. But if you what did what was Latin gonna, Train Trio's last one? I think he had like three. Oh, like that. Yeah, I'm so well, sorry. yeah. I don't think we ever had. It's okay, I, I deserve it. I deserve to sit yourself. in this shame. But, but hey, you know what? You know what it is. You you took a risk. All right. Yeah. Didn't pay off. We sometimes, yeah. You for that. You know sometimes a risk. You gotta. That's that's I think what I'm gonna go are. buy some stocks right now after doing yeah. this. I think it's the you right. Should play, you should play you should. the lottery I think, after this. I, I think it's a great ticket. idea. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Yep. <laughs> I'm feeling oh something. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was amazing. Thank you for 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 bringing me into uh, this world of, of barrel and monkeys i'm never gonna leave it now i'm gonna practice every day oh we do want to actually we have talked about having an episode where we but, just do but do we bring back the lowest scoring hey person? i mean part <laughs> of it feels like story part of me feels like we got it part of me feels like he's gonna to. win because yeah. I, I wanted to have an episode where we bring back like a whole bunch of people from the show who like we just do one entire episode of just this for the whole time mm. an outdoor episode and then crown a yes. crown a champion and everything mm. yes i love that yeah Okay, we'll, we'll, count, be, me we'll, be we'll count me in. We'll be in touch. Count me in. So everybody, that concludes this week's episode, I mean, well, edition <laughs> of the Barrel of Monkeys World Championship. <laughs> See? <laughs> Incredible. That was epic. Thank you. I think I've shamed my family. I think they're, <laughs> I think they're not going to let me back in the house. Definitely. You're not allowed back in Nova Scotia. No, yeah. <laughs> My own home, I won't be able to go but back. The fish will be slapping you on yeah. your hand. Yeah, and the plane is jumping out. It's bad. It's bad. Oh boy! You know what? There's a first I mean, for everything. there's a first, that's a good way to say it. Yeah. There's a first and last for everything. Mm -hmm. I'm occupying mm -hmm. the last there you position. Go. There you I mean, because because basically by the time you had the second pour, there were like 20 seconds left. Can I just? Okay. Enough time. Enough time. I need to take a look at what I just posted on our on our Instagram because Are you failing. Oh, do you, you see what how I how one, this is going to be two, even more hard three, to watch? Right? Yeah, there were there were a bunch you had because there was two for sure that was yeah. kind of one, but there was another guy that I think would have counted as its mm -hmm. own. So there, there, the, there were definitely. It's also the way you there. grabbed it because you grabbed like yeah. two at the you same kind of, time. Yeah, I yeah. never. Honestly, there were a lot of firsts in there. Because <laughs> normally your some technique was so bad that we couldn't yeah, comprehend it. Typically, they would grab one monkey. You yeah. like went in and grabbed a handful of. I was monkeys. like, how many can I? Yeah, <laughs> I'm eating monkeys for breakfast. So yeah. with that, how would you describe a monkey? <laughs> um, stressful. 
<laughs> yeah. It's the first word I would use to decide. Pain, to pain, painful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Heartbreaking. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You should tell Jennifer how you did today. I, I think if she ever sees me do that, it's over. Mm. I think. Because that's one thing that she loves to talk about, how this is her favorite game. <laughs> and uh, she she actually, I don't know if she's on the list there, but uh, she's, she says she's quite good. And so I think mm. it's curtains for us if I ever. Oh, no. We, we better keep that a secret yeah. then. Tell her yeah. not to watch this interview. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was busy today anyway. So. I mean, actually, don't tell her because you totally called her a catfish. So yeah, that's not. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, yeah. Anyways, well, uh, this was a beautiful episode. Yeah, it was fun. We saw we 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 went on we ran the gamut. We went side to side. We saw everything. We did. It was a beautiful <laughs> we thing. On some tangents. We did. I'm I'm so happy to to hang with you guys. Yes, yeah, it was awesome. Hanging like well, a monkey. Hanging yeah. like a monkey. That couldn't hang on. To <laughs> <Yeah. just. laughs> yeah. That wasn't actually hanging that far down. Yeah. Um, before we wrap up, why don't you uh, tell the people? Where they can uh, find you on uh, social media? Well, you can follow me on the street, like uh, people have like been Sarah. doing for yep. years, apparently. Yep. Um, <laughs> you, you can find me on um, Instagram, uh, under Josh Credits is my, my name. You can find me on Twitter, same name, Josh Credits, I think. Um, I think Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, Facebook. And uh, yeah, and if you, you know, you'll see a variety of posts, some of which are related to my actual, you know, job and then some are just you know my me crying at my students singing part of your world uh, for little mermaid so it's a, it's a mix it's all over the place but lovely yeah. and you should also check him out on cameo that's right cameo <laughs> <laughs> spotify youtube any anywhere anywhere you uh anywhere you can find a ginger you'll find me google him Boom. in ireland at the end I of wish. the rainbow yeah definitely at the end of the rainbow <laughs> yeah. that's where i'm headed up <laughs> finding the nearest one Mm, getting your free muffins. <laughs> yep. Lucky charms. <laughs> Link is in the description down below, people. Click down below. Uh, Regine, where can people find you? Um, you guys can find me on my YouTube channel for the pageant sit down where I do the same thing, but with pageant girls. Not as fun, but same. It's fun. Same. Yeah. You just say that because you've been on the show. So I know. We just we just don't have Barrel of Monkeys because we're all virtual. But mm. check us out on YouTube. Link is in the description. So make sure you subscribe if you want to take a look at um, our latest interview with Alma. It's there. Our Miss reigning Miss Teen and Galaxy International 2023. Um, you can also follow me here um, on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at It's Regina Lena. Scott, where can people find you? Just not stalk you. Yeah, you can find me right here where you're watching this very video, youtube.com slash Scott Dion Brown. Yeah, probably, probably don't. No. Don't do that one. Don't stalk anybody, people. Don't do it's it. It's a little, little uncomfortable. And don't be like, daddy's home. <laughs> that would be fine. That's fine. <laughs> that That's good. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not for that. Um, youtube.com slash Scott Dion Brown. You can also find me on Twitch. But uh, YouTube is the best place. It's where you get not just the sit down. You get gaming. You get the sketches. Mm -hmm. You get the music. You get it all right there. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's Scott Dion Brown. Um, TikTok, Scott Dion Brown Official. But all of these accounts, they're a satellite for the YouTube channel. That's the best place to find it all. Also follow the show there. Uh, the Sit Down with SDB on TikTok. Sit Down with SDB on Instagram. Sit Down Scott on Twitter. And uh, the Sit Down with Scott Dion Brown on Facebook. You can also listen to us on um, or watch on Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts. I think we're on Amazon too. There's a bunch of podcast Google places. Us. Google <laughs> us, people. Um, if you're enjoying this episode, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. And if you want your own sit down merch, where can they find it, Scott? Oh, yeah. Um, well, you can get the mug at the sit down mug, teespring.com slash the sit down mug. And also, actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, probably right across the bottom of the video, you're seeing a bunch of shirts and things all with sit down logo on it. It's all set up now, so you can find that. It looks like this. That's right. It's a nice shirt. It's a good shirt. Good logo. Uh, Josh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, both of you. It was a blast. It's it nice finally meeting you in person. I know, in real life. Screen. Yeah. I'm real. <laughs> I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is great. And uh, we definitely want to have you back. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll message you. you get yeah, we'll yeah bring you and Jennifer together. come down. <laughs> yeah. Bring Grogu. She's busy. 
Pring- yeah. She is very busy these days. But. Yeah, Bring Grogu, congrats. But I guess once, <laughs> thank you. You know, she'll have a bit more time. She'll get a big role. Yeah. She'll pay you back tenfold. She'll be Can't able to wait. fly down, and then yes, we'll see her. That's all go. gonna happen. I all hope. Right. I look forward to it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> all right. Um, the way we like to end the show is I'll uh, grab your sit-down mug, mm-hmm. and you can say goodbye to our audience and cheers them at the camera. Like go kind of like at the camera. Let's do it. I love right. that. All right. Take it away. So long for now, people. Thank you.